I'm gonna have to do. This is good. Hi everyone. <clears throat> Just gonna make sure that the sound is off. Yep, we're good. Okay, so for anyone watching this back, this is a live stream. So if you wish to keep up with the conversation and the chat, if you go to the description bar um, at the um, sort of like on the drop down section, you will see a little box that says um, live chat. If you click on that and you'll be able to see the conversation as we go. Hi, Zoe. <laughs> Hi, sweetheart. Happy Valentine's Day. Love you. <laughs> How are you doing, sweetie? <clears throat> I hope you're doing well, my lovely. Yeah, it was just a last minute thing. I've been kind of imming and amming for a couple of hours what to what to do. But um yeah, I decided to I decided to go ahead and do it. Hi Benita, welcome. Lovely to see you. Hi Zoe P. <laughs> oh, hi Steve. <laughs> um, so tonight we're gonna be continuing working in Fragile World by Cabby Rosanas on the tree frog page that we started when we were here last time let me just turn my coffee cup around i'm so unprepared it's ridiculous <clears throat> so yeah um i do want to go in on the background with some deeper greens in places I do have a green pan pastel set that was kindly gifted to me as Happy Mail. However, there's a bit of an issue, so I don't want to use this just yet until myself and the lovely um, lady who sent these find out what Amazon will do. Because um, with pan pastels, you expect to receive them in a mac. Yeah, good old Amazon, eh? All right, I'm just. Sorry guys, I'm just uh, fidgeting around a bit because the cats have made a real mess of my desk and work area. So I'm really upset at the minute. <laughs> Hi Bella, bonsoir. Hi Nikki, hello gorgeous, thank you for joining sweetheart. Hi Karen. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for joining everyone. I stopped you online shopping, woohoo, yay. Go me. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're going to continue with this one. Um, I've got my dough and ink tents pulled out. Um, I've got some pens to the side of me. I'm, but I'm all over the place. I need like some tissue or something to wipe my water brushes on, and I haven't. I haven't got anything. So, ah. Um, what water brushes have I got here? Let's have a look. Um, okay, so I've got my Arteza ones and I've got my Zig Kirataki. Sorry about the arm stretching across the screen. Um, so I think, at the moment, I think I want to colour these these flowers. And I really want to do them like a, like a really nice sort of pink colour. Oh, you're a dream. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. I really appreciate that. I've got Tegan here with me, keeping me company. So, yeah, bless her. She's having a bit of a rough time at the minute. So, this beautiful young lady is keeping me company. Hi, Lisa. Hi, gorgeous. Thank you so much for joining long time no speak <laughs> it was only what about 20 minutes half hour ago <laughs> oh um zoe said hi teeks and hi. nikki <laughs> oh and lisa lisa said hi as well <laughs> hi everybody bless her she said hi everyone 
Um, let me see which colours I'm going to pull out. I think. Okay, I think I'm going to do deep rose, fuchsia, and mauve. Mauve. The deep rose is number zero seven ten. Fuchsia is zero seven hundred, and the mauve is zero seven four zero. So this is in the Darwin Ink Tents. Um, I'm going to use the Deep Rose as a base, I think, for the petals. And so we'll do that. Um, I think these are leaves as like, well, I don't know. Were these petals? No, I'm going to say these are petals. Let's let's do that. So how is everyone? How are you all? How are you all doing? How's your weekend been? And happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> wow, Karen, that's an amazing deal. Wow. What books did you order, sweetheart? I'm nosy. <laughs> Karen said hi as well, Teagues. Hi, Karen. mauve uh i wasn't sure it's one of those where it's like um i don't know how to pronounce it <laughs> yeah lisa that's right <laughs> that's it sweetie let me um grab a piece of paper as well actually to put um put under my hand i'm just gonna grab let me grab a small piece there we go I don't want to smear my hand through the pastel. Um, I did buy a fixative. I, I haven't got it downstairs with me. Um, but I did buy a pastel fixative. So I'm really nervous to use it because I'm thinking, oh, I've used uh, ink tents and watercolours and fine liners on here. So I'm worried that if I smear, I might need to come up with a way to cover cover bits as I'm as I'm spraying just to protect the leaves and the frogs and stuff oh nice Nikki yeah it really is isn't it I received two beautiful diamond paintings yesterday from one of my absolute best friends in the whole wide world and um, they are gorgeous I'm, I'm itching to like start them but I'm thinking no 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 finish the one you've got on the go at the minute so I want to finish that and I've got a great big paint by numbers which is the um uh, starry sky starry night painting by Van Gogh um so I've got a paint by numbers of that um that I think once that's done depending how it looks if it comes out all right then I think we either want to put it in the front room or bedroom but I want to get a great big diamond painting of it as well and a print of it <laughs> it's just it's mine and Aaron's favorite painting ever so yeah I really um I really want us to get some things of it like sort of to dot around the house which will be lovely <clears throat> Oh, nice, Zoe. That's amazing. I did um, follow the link you sent me yesterday for Darwin as well for a free, like, pencil or whatnot if you sign up. And I chose a paint marker. I've got a set of the um, line painters already. And I use them sometimes in my Carla Magana books and I love them. I do need to use them more. I'm actually just thinking there might be some colours in there that would look lovely on this page. But yeah, I have to see how they how they are because I've had them for a long, long time. <coughs> Bless you, Nikki. No, Amazon is our best friend. I'm going to be ordering from there later once we get paid at midnight. But uh, yeah, it's just going to be like um, nothing exciting. <laughs> it's going to be like... 
Um, I think we're going to order some toilet rolls and we need um, wash detergent. Um, so yeah. So. All good fun. <laughs> Yeah, nothing exciting, Zoe. Just like I said, just um, some detergent, um, some toilet rolls. Maybe I don't know about the toilet rolls. If we can get them cheaper, then we may just have to pop out um, and do that. And then I need to do a grocery shop. So yeah. <laughs> so nothing exciting on Amazon, I'm afraid. Boo hoo. But saying that, though, I do I do love shopping for other people. I absolutely love it. It makes me so happy. So, and I I need that this week. It's been um, yeah, it's been a bit of a rough one. Uh, but I'm feeling a little bit better today, probably because I've had so much sleep last night and today. So. <clears throat> Oh, really, Lisa? Oh, she's got great taste. What's the matter, Ems? This book, Cajun, and he ripped a page. Where? Um, Where's he ripped it? Sorry, guys. I'm here. One. All right, can you ask him to come here a sec, please? It was my accident. Well, how did you rip it? It's because I, it's because I was like that. And then Flipping the pages too rough. Yeah, but I don't yeah. Know okay, well, look, I'll keep it and I'll put some sellotape on it and fix it tomorrow for you. You, my my lovely, you need to be more gentle. Can I say hi to everyone? Yeah, quickly. Hi. Right, you just love you. Hello. Right, come on, quickly, Ems. Hi. <laughs> right, go on, I love you. <clears throat> uh, stop messing, please. Yeah, I want to, Nikki. It's just, it might have to wait a little bit. I'll see what the situation is, like, penny-wise tomorrow. Not, oh, my God, <laughs> money-wise. You know what I mean? <laughs> the situation is after, but I definitely need one for upstairs. Um, I've been looking at um, smaller desks for upstairs to have in the bedroom because when I'm feeling rotten it's so much easier for me to film from upstairs rather than trying to get up and down the stairs and the desk I've got my my brother gave me oh he gave it to me um, I don't think it was too long after we moved in here so we've been here nearly four years yeah um but it's it's literally falling apart the de the drawer is completely had it now so that's busted there's bits peeling off of it so yeah i've been looking for a little desk and um a really inexpensive daylight lamp just so that i can you know get some filming done upstairs on those on those rough days <laughs> um but yeah one of those organizers would just be perfect because at the minute i've just got stuff like shoved in cups so yeah <laughs> oh bless you zoe it is it's so rewarding you know giving gifts to others i i love it i love shopping for people you know for gifts and for christmas and birthdays and stuff we all float <laughs> We certainly do, Nikki. Well, saying that, though, I don't know about me, my chunky butt, but <laughs> it's a nice thought. <laughs> uh, Enchanted Flowers Mythographic. Oh, lovely, Karen. That's a lovely selection. <laughs> I'm calling it chartreuse, Nikki. <laughs> but, yeah. And it's raining outside, too. Maybe I should make a, a paper boat. <laughs> and see which drain it floats to. <laughs> Zoe. <laughs> Do you 
She's got two boys to keep her afloat. Oh, seriously? <laughs> oh, my goodness. So how's everyone's weekend? How's it been? We have lit with just feeling generally really poorly and he's had some seizures and stuff. So he's in bed resting. I'm saying resting. The kids aren't going to be, uh, you know, letting him rest too much. But when it hits 8pm, I can't see the time at the minute, but when it hits 8pm, it's... Uh, it's their bedtime. Oh, have you? No, no. Oh, okay. I'll drop and get it in a minute, so I'm charged from it. Oh, thank you so much, love. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, so Tegan, bless her heart. She's been such a huge, huge help today. But she's having a really rough time at the minute. So I said, look, don't don't sit up in your room on your own. Come down with me while I live stream. Oh, it's just gone seven. Oh, is that all? <laughs> yeah. Can we can we skip like forty five minutes? Okay. So I'm just going in now with the mauve, mauve, mauve. Um, and I'm just flicking that in from, excuse me, from like the bottom of the petals here. Oh my goodness! Excuse me. <clears throat> Um, so I'm just doing that. Can you all see what I'm doing well enough? Or would you like me to zoom in? Let me move that paper for a minute. That's a bit distracting, isn't it? I'll use that when I get the water brushes and stuff. I'm not sure what you're doing. I'm out to activate. Why don't you pull a chair over? Come and sit next to me. Come on. Come and sit next to me. Don't sit over there. I just got a funny thought. What's that? When I was in Mr Bean's class for geography. Yeah. He didn't know how to pronounce my name. He was like, is it Tegan or Tegan? And he'd say that, for the, he's been saying that for the past five lessons. And then one of the lessons, I got really annoyed because he was calling me Tegan. And I was like, it's T. So I put T with um, like six E's yeah. next to it. And I was like, go. Tegan. <laughs> go on at the end. He was like, oh, it's Tegan. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> Bless you. My apologies. Yeah. Oh, that sounds lovely. If you've got a week off, does that mean you're going to be enjoying your lovely new colouring books? <laughs> oh, did you see what Lisa put at the bottom? Oh. <laughs> She is Lisa, honestly. I I would be I would be lost without her. And you know, we do say this to her all the time, but she she helps so much. And it, it does make us feel guilty because it's like, you know, she's she's a young girl, she's a young lady, she shouldn't have to be helping us, but she does, and she does it without complaint, you know? So we're we're so extremely lucky. You know, there might be that odd day where I'm a bit like. Uh, Everyone gets uh, off days, though, don't they? Yeah. We all get them. I know I certainly do. Where I'm a right moody man. <laughs> but no, she's she's an absolute godsend. Bless her. Okay, so there's that darker colour. <clears throat> Zoe said, "There's." A good series on BBC called Katie Keen and also Pretty Little Liars, The Perfectionists. If that's something you might be interested oh, in. BBC iPlayer, I've been watching this thing where it's like Little Mix. I can't remember what it's called. It's like a Little Mix thing. When people go and audition, but like Little Mix have to judge them. All right. Or they, like, they want them on their team in a way. Nice. But well, that's when Jessie was with them. Ah, uh, right, like, before she left. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah. Oh, bless you, Karen. No rest for the wicked. No rest for the wicked. Yeah, it sounds like it, doesn't it, Zoe? When they formed, when they formed a group, certainly sounds like it. Karen said, "What's your favourite subject in school?" Um. English and science. 
There you go. English and science. Yeah, easily. Ooh, speaking of school, guys. Oh, I'm so proud. My youngest brother has been accepted into uni. He's been accepted to university. Oh. So, so unbelievably proud of him. So he's the he's the, the first out of, you know. So we've done all that good stuff. But, um, yeah, he's been accepted into uni. I'm so unbelievably proud. What's the difference between college and uni? <clears throat> um, uni is, like, even further education than, um, than college. It's, like, higher grades and stuff. That's, you know, if you really want to specialise in something as well. That's something specific. Yeah, he, wa he wants to be a surgeon. So, I know a while ago he said about forensics. Um, but yeah, I haven't really had a chance to have like a proper conversation with him. But I just messaged him yesterday to say congratulations. So, hey Marlene. Hello. Hello, <laughs> fluffy butt. <coughs> um... Yeah, so, so, so proud of him. I'll take some time congratulations. Oh, thank you, Lisa. Oh, bless her, Lisa. Oh, Lisa's daughter has asked if you would like to be her pen pal. Yes, please. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, don't cry. Oh, bless her. She's like, oh, happy to use. She would love to, Lisa. Thank you so much. Oh, and thank you so much to your daughter as well. What an absolutely lovely gesture. That was so quick. <laughs> oh, she even sat here crying. Like mother, like daughter, eh? Merlin, hey, what you doing? What you doing? Oh. Mm, what are you doing, honey? Oh. <laughs> ah, Karen is a history teacher. Oh, and guess what? Guess what? Karen is awesome because do you know why? She grades her papers with glitter gel pen. I know. Can you move to my school, please? <laughs> please. Tegan wants you to move to her school. She's like, please. My teachers are boring. It's it's not the same with, with home up, learning. I I get it. You know. Get that up, you know. Uh, get the odd day. Well, that's okay. But... My friend was like, "Is it T E A G?" I think mm -hmm. you know, like with you and Caden and Emmy. There's there's a few ways to spell each of your names. I think not so much Emmy, but with you and Caden, there's there's quite a few. Uh, different ways there's lots of my friend was like is it k-d-e-n or like k-d-y-n yeah yeah so i'm just going in now with the middle color which was the fuchsia so i'm just adding a little bit of that from the mauve that we put in at the bottom on these flowers i should get like a mid one so I know you did, Nikki. Yeah, and bless your heart, the letters I received from you, they're always so beautifully decorated. Bless your heart. Yeah. Oh. oh, you really should, Karen. <laughs> you really should. We would love that. We should do like a big colouring retreat and all of us just meet up. That would be so amazing. Oh, bless her. Is that on mummy's books? Yeah, she's all right, but oh my gosh, that yeah, my work area is gonna. I'm gonna need to pull everything out tomorrow and clean everything. Mm -hmm. And I think, I think like ninety five percent sure there's some books that I'm gonna have to get rid of, because guess what? Guess what the cats have done. Can we hear apparently? I'll let everyone guess. <gasps> Yeah, again, Zoe, but it was worse this time. It's worse. Oh, 
hi Michelle. Thank you for joining. Your other channel is blocked. What? Why is that? What's your other channel name, Michelle? And I'll I'll see what's I'll see what's happening and then um once the stream is done, sweetheart, I'll unblock it. I don't understand why. Saying that, there's been three channels within the last week and a half, two weeks. Michelle. No, 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 no. Aries no. Hangout. No. Michelle creates. Okay, sweetheart. Let me have a look at that after after the stream. I've I've made a note of it. Um so I'll have a look for that, sweetheart. I'm so sorry. That's my face. <clears throat> Oh no, please don't don't worry, Michelle. Honestly, honestly, sweetheart, you know, message me or, or whatnot, and I can I can sort that out. All I can do is apologise. I'm so sorry. Um, oh, honestly, Nikki, I think I'm gonna just have to. Oh, I I don't even know because they've. Where we've been trying to integrate the cats again, I think those of you who've been with me for a little while know what happened. She fish hit the inside of my lip. Ew, go wash it underwater. Ow. Um, what was I going to say? Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Yeah, I wanted to get um, a, like a bigger shelving unit for my books because I'm literally out of space now so I've got books in a plastic storage container upstairs because I've got nowhere else to put them but we've been trying to reintegrate the cats because there was somehow I don't know what happened but there was a big issue between Stitch, Link, Luna, sometimes Louie um, but yeah Stitch and Louie were getting attacked quite a bit and I thought no I'm not having it so we kept those Stitch and Louie in the front room <clears throat> separated from the others but that's not no way for them to live and at the end of the day this was their home first so we were like do you know what no we're gonna open the front room door they need to just you know try and sort it out anyway things have been a lot better we've i think we, we're just over a week now with the door open 24 7 but i came down to live stream and i had to spend a good time cleaning up the work area before I could do anything because they have peed by my pencil cases that are all in a row upon um like a, a low bookcase there was pee down on the shelves where my books are so I need to pull everything out tomorrow and have a real good look at the damage I might even Climb. okay thank you I might even do it later depending how late I'm awake so yeah I'm really upset at the minute because um, there was an occasion previously where I had to bin I think it was like 22 books I had to get rid of because they had peed on them and then recently I had to throw a few more and yeah I'm, I'm really upset because it's like Okay, so we're trying to integrate the cats, but this is happening and it's it's really upsetting because it's like this is my own, this is the only little space I have to call my own in the house. It's in the front room, um, but we want to get like a little screen just to sort of section it off, but I, yeah, <laughs> oh, I don't want to cry. It's, it's silly crying over books and stuff but that's it's not the point you know it's really not I love how she hurts me and then she acts really cute in this one yeah well <laughs> this is wet this is wet morning um yeah I'm gutted absolutely gutted no not the keyboard either sweetie good girl yeah i'm so frustrated <laughs> um so i don't know what to do now you know like how am i gonna keep the cats away from my stuff and stop them 
peeing on it. They shouldn't be peeing anyway. They've got clean litter boxes. You know, there's, there's four litter boxes between five of them. So there's no excuse at all. You know, the door is open. So they're literally like in the ne the little the little bo blah, blah, blah. their litter boxes are literally in the next room. So yeah, I'm not uh not happy. Not at all. The storage containers because that's just gonna be such a pain in the neck to go through and pull stuff out especially if it's a day when it's like a, a high pain day you know oh i don't know i don't know what to do it's just really frustrating so if anyone's got any ideas or suggestions i'd be really grateful so yeah it's been a week of it it's been a week i did manage to film a color and chat yesterday but i didn't get it uploaded so i will do that um <clears throat> I've got a, I've got two reviews I need to do and get uploaded. Um, I was I was pretty much caught up with my reviews. I think I just had like two or three videos left to upload, and then yeah, I received like two more books, and it's like ah, no rest for the wicked. Ah, oh, thank you, Lisa. I'll I'll give her hugs and kisses later she is over on the sofa <laughs> yeah pretty pink paw prints paw prints are adorable but not on this page no thank you i've got like a really do you know like with some pages i don't know if you guys get like this some pages you look at and you just get like a really vivid idea in your mind of what you want the page to look like I've had this since I saw this page and I was like, oh my gosh. And I have researched these frogs and oh my gosh, I, I want one. I want a load of them. They are just beautiful. They really are. So I want to see if there's a way that I can help. Um, you know, because they're like an endangered species, I want to... Let's see if there's a way that I can um, that I can help. I know there's a wildlife organisation I think linked with this book, so I might contact them because even if I can just like donate to them or or help in some little way, um, like for you know the animals in this book or whatnot, then that would just be so nice. I, I would love to be able to do that. <coughs> Yeah, I think, you know, I, I get it, but it's just really frustrating because it it seems to be when it happens, it's on my staff. <laughs> and it's just like, this is the one thing I have, like for me, that means it's, it's you know, it means so much and it helps me greatly, you know. And so not only is this for my channel, um, but it's, it's, for me personally as well you know to, to help it's what calms me it's what I enjoy more than anything um so it's just really upsetting you know and it's like I said it's been a rough week anyway so to come down and find all that it's like oh you're kidding me you know bearing in mind I was in here earlier you know putting some biscuits and water and stuff down for them making sure they had enough water and stuff and that the fountain was topped up <clears throat> so yeah i'm i'm, I'm yeah, not a happy camper um let me put that there it is lisa yeah it really is frustrating you know and like i said i don't want to have to keep my stuff in plastic containers but you know it might be that that's what is gonna have to happen and that really annoys me because you know when it when my arthritis is playing up the last thing I want to do I want to do is um you know have to sort of pull out plastic containers and stuff you know i just want everything to be able to be like 
functional and at hand, if that makes sense. <clears throat> Oh, Michelle, I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry to hear that, sweetheart. Oh, my gosh. I'm sending all my love and hugs. Bless you. Yeah, see, they're using the little oh, mums in there. Sorry, excuse me. Oh, it's gorgeous, Nikki. Absolutely beautiful. I've still got my shoe double page whip, double page spread whip in um, worlds within worlds to finish. Um, I don't know if you guys want to see me do that on camera or not. Um, I might work on some of it off screen and then do the rest, like the finishing touches and stuff with you. And then that'll be my first double page spread in that book finished. My first page in that book finished, actually. It's really silly. I've been really hard on myself. I've been like, no, nope, I'm not colouring any pages in there until the whip is done. And I get like that sometimes. I get really strict with myself and it's silly. It's silly, but I don't know. I don't know why I do it. <laughs> okay, so there's the base of our flowers. I think they're looking really really pretty oh my gosh Lisa <gasps> I mean they the cats did when they were little but they they don't now Marilyn tries very very occasionally but I'll give her her due she is she is pretty good yeah that's it Karen I, I don't know I don't know what to do. I really don't. I'm I'm just really upset at the minute. Oh, I feel tearful anyway. Like I said, it's just it's been one of those weeks. Um, I'm just grabbing a couple of yellows a second. What's that? Shall I have that one? Some yellow. That's just, okay. I'm gonna try a little bit of that. This one. What's that one there? Uh, don't worry about it it's their loss their loss my lovely right okay that's kind of dry enough for me to put a piece of paper on I'm going to add some yellow to these but I do want to keep the rest of them white so I'm just going to add a little bit of yellow sort of inside here and down at the bottom and I've missed two in here with the pink ones that's alright we can do that later them like i said what i'll do is probably work on like the pencil work on the shoes off screen um i need to i'm gonna need to watch one of the videos to see what colors i use i, I know it was prisma colors but i have no idea um what what colors i used so we'll figure that out Okay, so for the yellow on these, I'm using, just for those of you, if anyone does want to follow along, you don't have to, but you never know, somebody might. <laughs> um, I'm using in the Darren Ink Tents, Sienna Gold, which is 0240, Cadmium Yellow, which is 0210, and Sherbet Lemon, which is 0100. So I've just put some of the Sienna Gold down. Now I'm going in with the Cadmium Yellow. Hi Madison, hi sweetheart, thank you so much for joining, how are you doing? Happy Valentine's Day! <laughs> she's not Lisa, she's just sat here next to me, bless her. Yeah, she's, she, she just said she's been doodling, but she's, she's sat here, she's on, on her phone. You know, typical it's teenager. <laughs> Not to stereotype, but, you know, <laughs> it's true. Okay, and then in with the Sherbet Lemon. I don't think I've ever used this colour. So I'm really excited to see how this yellow comes out. I don't want to use a lot because, like I said, I want to keep these flowers quite, you know, quite a lot of white on them. 
Okay. So I'm just going to do the same on these. You've got just like a regular pencil. A what, darling? Regular pencil. What, a drawing pencil? Just like a typical regular pencil. Do you need it sharpened or is that alright? Okay, so again, whoops, darkest colour down here. Oh, bless you, Zoe. That's alright, sweet. But it will certainly be done in the next, well, I don't know, next couple of days, I think. Because I've got some work um, I want. The little ones to catch up on some schoolwork. Not that okay, it's half time, so they shouldn't be, you know, they shouldn't have to be doing any work, which they don't, but they've been complaining that they want stuff to do. So I'm like, well, there's stuff here that you could catch up on. Um, and a few things that you could read, you know, before you return to online learning next week, so you're all sort of up to date and ready for the stories and stuff on Monday. So we're going to do a little bit of that each day through the week. Um, obviously I need to have a good think about my work area and what I'm going to do about it. I'm going to need to move things around and, I don't know, figure stuff out, I think. I don't know. I might need to go out tomorrow and get some... Plastic storage containers. I need to um, pop out for a few home essentials anyway. So, yeah, I'm kind of thinking I might uh, might do that anyway. <clears throat> Mom. Oh, bless you. Happy Valentine's Day to your parents. <laughs> oh, bless you, Karen. Would you rather me do this? on a Sunday rather than a Saturday. Oh, bless him, Zoe. What is a school year like in the UK? In what way, Karen? Like when they break up and stuff. Oh, Michelle, thank you so much. Bless your heart. Thank you. You didn't have to do that, sweetheart. That's so incredibly kind. Thank you. Happy Valentine's Day. Mwah. <laughs> oh, bless him, Zos. Dear of him. Yeah, no fun. No fun at all. Right. Let's uh Let's get these activated and then I'll, I will go in and deepen up, you know, some of these shadows and stuff like we did on the leaves. I will do that on these as well. Oh, thank you, Michelle. Bless your heart. Wow. Okay. That's very yellow. <laughs> Okay. I'm going to have to make it work, yeah. Uh, right, can you go up and ask the little ones to come down, please? Yep. Thank you. Oh, oh shoot, I'm creasing the pages. Right, okay. Let me just try it well. Okay, so we, we, we have yellow flowers. We have yellow flowers, it's okay. Um, I'll try and put some white in. I don't know. I don't know, we'll, we'll see, we'll, we'll figure it out. <clears throat> oh, bless you, Madison. The thing is, they're there for when you're ready, you know? Right, excuse me a minute, guys. I'm, I'm really sorry I have to do this in a live stream. Right. You two have been asked to keep the noise down because Daddy's trying to rest. You know he's been really poorly, isn't he? Right. So why are you up there jumping around and shouting and screaming? I don't know. Come here, no, Kaden. I'm not done. Come here, please. Right. 
What time is it to you again? Half past seven. Right, okay, you can both go get in bed now, please. Wait, sleep time? No, you can chill out for half an hour and then I want your lights off. Mm. Hey, then, Mummy. Thank you. Love you. Night, night. Night, night. <coughs> Little night, monster. Night. I mean it, I don't want to have to tell you again. These are, yeah, they're really yellow. Ah. <clears throat> oh, thank you, Nikki. It does. I, I love the colours. I just didn't, I didn't want them to be, like, all yellow. But, oh, well, change of plan. <laughs> I don't think. And if I have, I can't remember how it reacted. Um, I don't, yeah. Just do your thoughts. Nice. Okay, let me go in and sort these other purple flowers out because that's really that's bothering me. Right, I'm going to put these yellow ones away because I'm not going to need them. Oh, thank you. You start in August. Yeah, see their their um school year is oh let me think. They have two weeks off at Christmas. About a week and a half, two weeks. Say two weeks off at Christmas. Then they have a half term sort of towards the middle to end of February. So this is like the week starting tomorrow, they'll have that week off. That's their half term. Then I think in it's either March or April, they break up for Easter and then July, they break up. They have six weeks off for summer holidays and then they go back the first week of September. Um, but obviously, like with the COVID, everything is a lot different at the moment. So it's a bit of a pain, but I'm actually, surprisingly, I'm really enjoying homeschooling, to be honest. It's, it's hard, some days it's really hard, but I'm lucky because with Tegan, she just sort of sets her alarm, gets up, gets on with it, you know, with her live lessons and stuff. So she's she's fantastic. Um, and the little ones are always really excited to see their teachers online and, you know, to see their friends and stuff. But it's not the same as interacting socially, is it? It's not the same seeing everybody through a screen. Oh, thank you, Zoe. Thank you, Michelle. Oh, bless your heart. Thank you. No ones are better than me because I've had their cameras and microphones on. Not all the time. The teachers mute them for the majority of it. It's only at the beginning where are automatically disabled. Mm. And if you have a question, you've got to click the raise hand button. Yeah, they've got a click raise hand button. And then um, the teacher will disable our mic or it'll just automatically be off and then yeah the teacher does that um like when they're explaining what what to do like in the lesson and stuff the teacher automatically disables their mics yeah. and stuff the cameras are still on because the teacher will say like oh if you understand like give me a thumbs up or you know poke your tongue out you know <laughs> all sorts um if you're not sure you know raise your hand um if he asks a question and then like a couple kids have clicked the raise hand button the frame around their picture around their screen will go yellow um so the teacher knows that they've raised their hand and then he'll like unmute that one student mm -hmm. and ask them for the answer or whatnot so my teacher don't do that with me oh bless you nikki i hope you're enjoying it sweetie Oh, thank you, Rochelle. Thank you, gorgeous. Happy Valentine's Day. Mwah. <laughs> oh, Madison. Honestly, sweetheart, I, I get it. But if you just take a breath and relax, don't think about the end result. Just enjoy that moment putting pencil to paper or pen to paper, whatever you choose. Just 
enjoy colouring that that one section or you know one leaf one petal one you know whatever it is you're colouring just think about that that one that one bit don't don't overthink it you know and then if it starts getting a bit much put it away and then come back and look at it with a fresh set of eyes later don't you don't need to criticize yourself sweetie i know you know we're all guilty of it but honestly just enjoy putting color to paper and the rest the rest will come the rest will come I know, I know they're up there banging the wardrobe. If I've got to go up there, there's going to be trouble. <laughs> Karen, with um, like orange on the tips of their toes and stuff, and little yellowy orange eyes. <laughs> That's a really good idea, Lisa. <laughs> Oh, bless you, Nikki. I'm glad you feel relaxed, sweetheart. That means so much. Um. Okay, let's just let's just go for it. We'll base the frogs, shall we? Let's do that. And then I'll come back and add the shading and stuff later. So I would like. That's pretty. I'm sorry. Um, apple green. Spring green, maybe? Hmm, what's the... Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Oh, green, spring green, and... Don't want anything too dark. Maybe felt green. Okay, we'll try that for a minute. Um, I'm going to see if I've got... Okay, I've got an electric pencil sharpener, but I don't think these fit. Oh, yeah, they do. Nice. Okay, cool. Because these are really blunt. You can tell which ones I use a lot. Sorry about the noise. Okay. Ideal. Happy days. Um, okay, not happy days. Well, definitely not happy days. No, definitely not happy days. Really? Can you go grab me the bottle of hand sanitizer from upstairs, please? Where is it? Um, oh, for goodness sake. Um... In f just behind Aaron's little chest of drawers where the books are. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm about to lose a little basket where I keep like my sharpener, my Mod Podge Extreme glitter, my paintbrushes. It's, yeah, it's all in there as well. This is just the one little space in the house, you know? For me to just come and relax and I, I can't even do that now it just <laughs> God. it just feels like they're ruining it thank you come on. i know that's an extortionate amount of hand gel but oh well. No, she's got no cuts on your own, Joe. And I've got bruises from where they took blood, but... <sighs> you know, this is just the one one little area for me, the one little corner of the house. Oh, you've got too many. Oh. <sighs> it is, Nikki. It just... Excuse my language, it just pisses me off. They've got the whole house, they've got clean little trays. You know, I, I just, I don't know how much stuff I'm going to have to go through and get rid of. Oh, 
Alright. Who's he soaring? It's just frustrating. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I shouldn't even be crying over it. It's it's ridiculous. I'm a grown woman. I shouldn't be crying over it, but you're reading in English class, no voice expert. Uh, what have you been reading? Not really reading, but we've had to read a Malala and a Jessica Ennis extract at the minute for our um, assessment that's coming up. So I did the assessment, but we had to write two wetter paragraphs. I don't know if you know what that is, but we had to write two wetter paragraphs about it. What's a wetter paragraph? Not heard. Writer, evidence, technique, terminology. Uh, what's the other E? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you guys. It just uh, like I said, it's it's just my one it's literally like a corner in the front room. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I've got a little spot in the bedroom which is it's too small but it's still good to it, it you know, it serves a purpose. I need to get a new desk for it, but that's that's nothing. That's fine because we're gonna move the room back to how it was anyway. I had this bright idea a few months ago to move it, move the room round so that the bed was facing the windows, and it's just not working out. <sighs> Someone's heading out now, mum. So. Oh, thank you so much for joining the show and thank you so much for supporting the channel. It's so unbelievably kind and generous of you. And I will check, um, you know, see what's going on with your other channel when I'm done and unblock it. I don't know what on earth has happened, but all I can do is apologise, my lovely. Sorry to hear that you're doing testing. I feel forced. I mean, I've had to do mouse tests as well, which have been a pain in the butt, but... Yeah, not I'm not good at maths at all. Yeah, but maths, you know, maths wasn't my strong subject either, yeah. so I wouldn't stress too much about it. Yeah. All you can do is your best, yeah. and so long as you do your best, then that's so that's more time. than enough. Yeah. Whatever happens, happens. Yeah. Whatever happens, happens. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just putting um on these frogs. I'm just putting a base coat of apple green, which is one four zero zero. Oh, thank you, Carrie Ann, and thank you so much for joining. Oh, thank you, Madison. I don't. I... I don't want it to sound like I'm being selfish, you know? Like, oh, I want space just for me, you know? Oh, and it just feels like with the cats, I can't even, like, have that, you know? They're just, they're ruining it. And it's, it costs money. It's so frustrating. I love them with all my heart, but... Oh. Yeah, I'm sad we can. So I'm just giving these a really light base coat with this green because I am going to go in and add extra colours and shadows and all that good stuff. <laughs> Nikki said she loathed maths. Yeah, I, I did too, Nikki. I was terrible at it. Um, I, I, I'll hold my hands up and admit I, I was absolutely awful at maths and I struggled and, and I struggled all through school you know I mean I'm in the bottom set for my maths and when it came to my sets in year six I was surprised at the score I got because I think it was out of 50 and I think I got what was it like 34 I think but you've done your best so, that's that's all that's all we can ask is that you try your best I was pleased with that though you should be so. You should be. I would have been proud if I got 30-something out of 50. I would have been amazed if I got 30-something out of 50. 
but you know like I said you know you try your best that's all that's all anyone can do yeah. <laughs> Karen doesn't like math either I don't blame anyone who don't like math it's confusing because at the minute I'm doing, I'm still doing algebra. Oh, carry on. Thank you so much, sweetheart. Oh my gosh, to know that I've helped means so much. Thank you. Oh, it's the it's the messages like this. It just it really yeah it really does. Oh, I'm emotional anyway, but reading stuff like that and I'm like, oh, thank you so much. <laughs> oh, thank you, sweetheart. It's lovely having you here. Wow. Really, Tegan? You have to do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but ugh, cooking fingers. Ugh, it goes right knuckles. through me. I was about to do my knuckles then, so you got lucky. It's nothing. And, and, you know, you guys help me so unbe unbelievably much. You know, I get messages saying... I help you guys and whatnot, you know, with my videos and stuff. But if you guys knew who, how much you mean to me and how much you help me as well, it, it's just nice to know that we're all there for each other, you know, and that that means so so much. So I'm just going in now with my darkest green. I'm trying to change the subject a little bit because I've got like a big lump in my throat. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're not a bad teacher, Karen. Don't say that. <laughs> oh, bless you so. Yeah, and like I said, all all I can ask is that she does her best, and that you know, so long as she's trying, that's all. That's all I. That's all I can expect of her, you know. And the thing is, even when she's struggling, she still perseveres, and that is just such a a show of strength, you know, and perseverance. I, I, I'm yeah. I tell her all the time how proud I am of her, but I am. You see that? I'm very, you very see proud. That I'm good at perseverance, not in French school. It got a bit much the other day. Yes. But that was the first time in months, you know? That's the only time ever you've walked out of a lesson. Yes. So well, not even walked out, I just hung up the call. You just hung up the call, yeah. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. Yeah, she had a, a different French teacher, and this teacher was really giving her a hard time and pushing, and Tegan said, look, I'm, I'm really sorry, I don't know the answer to that. And the teacher was pushing and pushing and pushing. She's like, oh, you have to answer it now. And I'm like, I don't know. You know, Tegan was honest and said she didn't know. And French is one of her strongest subjects. But, you know, she was like, I'm really sorry, I don't know. And this teacher was really laying into her, giving her a hard time. And, oh, I didn't know this, but she came upstairs, bless her. I didn't know until she came upstairs and she was like, Mum, don't be angry with me. But I've just, I've just walked out of a lesson and I was like, pardon. <laughs> so... <clears throat> oh, Lisa said she's proud of you. Your Aww. best is always good enough. Thank you. I've got Madison. Oh, Madison. Madison said, I don't mean to sound weird, but Tegan, I know you don't know me. I'm proud of you for pushing through school during this weird pandemic time. I know I wouldn't be able to do it if I was in school. Aww. Oh, see? All my friends are so proud of you as well. My friends think so. I need to pay Colt Pens a visit too, Zoe, but I'm kind of dreading it. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I told you about it, Nikki. Yeah. There's a massive age difference, but I think I'm making friends now as well. I only need a few things though, Zoe. So I'm kind of, I'm just, I'm holding out for a minute. But, um,. Yeah, but we'll we'll see how long that lasts. Okay, I'm gonna add a tiny bit of. Do I want that? Oh, that might be a bit too brave. Let's see. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna just add cadmium yellow 
is a base on their toes. And I'm going to put a tiny, tiny little hint of it here <coughs> on his underbelly. Oh, guys, please don't tempt me. <laughs> I've been really good. I've been really good. No, I'm. I am. I'm being. I'm. I am being good because we've got Emmy's birthday coming up. So I'm like, nope. Nope, nope, not, not not replacing anything that I'm low on until after after little one's birthday. Once she's sorted, then I'll pay a visit to Colt Pens. But like I said, there's only a few things, so I don't even know if I'll meet the shipping, the free shipping thingy. Mum, mm -hmm. how does pen pal work? You just write like physical letters and you send them to each other. I know, it's lovely. I've been through a lot lately, bless her. So, um, but yeah, you just, you literally just sort of physically write to someone, you know, you become friends and it's lovely. It's a really nice way. I think, you know, a lot of, not being horrible, but I think a lot of youngsters now just don't. Well, do you know what? No, not just youngsters. I take that back. Not just youngsters. I think just a lot of people in general just don't... It's just not done enough, you know? It's so easy to just text or email. But, yeah, a pen palling is lovely. <clears throat> um, it's, it's literally a couple of pens, though. Um, and I want to try a calligraphy ink for my glass dip pen. So it's, like like I said, it's not even going to come to like £25, I don't think. So I'm not, I'm not bothered. It can, it can wait. It can wait. I'm more excited about getting Emmy's Chris, um, Christmas. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Birthday presents. <laughs> physical letters. Yes, Karen. Physical letters, paper, envelopes, stamps, all that good stuff. <laughs> It is. It really is. Oh, bless you, Madison. What date is your birthday, sweetie? Can you can you email me? Is that all right? Go. Um, I haven't put anything in the description yet, but in all of my other videos, if you find my email, if you can send me an email with your birthday, then I would I would love to sort of send you a birthday card. But of course, only if that's okay with you. Oh, Lisa. Oh, my gosh. Oh, bless him. I love stuff like that. It just oh, makes my heart melt. That is so lovely. Right, let's get these little dudes activated and see. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm not going to touch their... The yellow on their toes just yet I want to do that separately I just want to get the green on them activated first to see whoops just to see what I've got I cannot hear the music in the background it sounds like our neighbors have got music playing oh, I love the colors on this look how vibrant oh ink tense my goodness how gorgeous I might pull out my little watercolour palette in a minute. Do you know, I don't even think I've cleaned it since last time. How bad is that? <laughs> oh, bless you, Karen. Do you know, I used to love history in school. I used to find it so interesting. And I used to get really engrossed in, like, whatever we were studying. Um, I was only in the middle group. I think I got a D in history. But I, yeah, I loved it. Absolutely loved history. And that's, Aaron loves it as well, even now. Um, I think, you know, while he's sort of resting upstairs, he's got um, a history channel playing. And I think when I came downstairs, it was a programme all about Egypt, which I, I love listening to that as well. So love being calming. But I remember, like, in school... 
talking a long, long, long time ago, but um, when we were studying like the Blitz and um, the Black Plague and all stuff like that, Caden's been doing uh, just getting into history with his teacher, and they've been looking at the very start of like the history of the Great Great Fire of London. <clears throat> March the third. Oh, not long, Madison. <laughs> oh, bless you, Lisa. Yeah, see, great minds think alike. You cannot go wrong with owls. They're just, they're just fantastic, aren't they? Absolutely lovely. Okay, let's just activate this tiny little bit here on his tummy. And pull it over into the green. Okay. I am really liking this bright green on these little guys. <coughs> oh, bless you, Karen. <laughs> yeah, Nikki is elephants, so Karen is sloths. I didn't, Nikki. I've I only popped in like super quick on Facebook earlier just to check the um the Carla Morgana colouring group that I run. I've been trying to stay off Facebook. I think I, I did give, give an update on my hospital appointment the other day. I did do that. Because um, I know people were sending me like well wishes and stuff when I was like, I'm finally going. I can't deal with the pain. So I just wanted to give everyone an update. But yeah, I've been very, very, very quiet on Facebook recently. Not that I'm on it all the time anyway but I just things were just getting a bit March so I just chose to take a, a step back and the same with Instagram I'll look on it but I haven't been posting or anything I just you know just needed to take a bit of time Wow, Zoe. What what channel was that on? Hi, Minnie. Hi, sweetheart. Thank you for joining. Oh, my gosh, Lisa. Bless your heart. You don't have to do that. I'm kind of like... It sounds really silly, but I'm like, hmm, I wonder if I could just try and, like, recreate one of these animals. Just sort of, like, doodle it, you know? Because one of my goals for this year was to work more in my sketchbook. And I've I've worked in it once. <laughs> and that was just sticking some, um, some extra stickers and stuff from Carla on a page. I haven't actually sketched in it. And... I feel really bad because Aaron, bless his heart, he bought me a pink, pink, <laughs> pink light pad for my birthday because he was like, right, now there's no excuse. You can get drawing. Is it for drawing yet? So, yeah. <laughs> oh, bless you, Lisa. I can't even, I just, yeah, I can't even imagine. I'm so sorry. Oh, happy Valentine's Day, Minnie. Um, what, do you know what? We haven't celebrated it. I normally I would, but Aaron just yeah, he's like it's it's commercialized. You know, we tell each other we love each other all the time. You know, why why do we need a day to do that? So I thought, okay, yeah, I don't want to push it. He he doesn't like Valentine's, so what's well, the he doesn't like it? He just you know, you know. It's commercialised and whatnot, so I didn't want to. I didn't want to push. So yeah, we haven't really done anything. And to be honest, even if we did celebrate it, we wouldn't have done much anyway because I was feeling really poorly most of the day, um, with pain in my face and my jaw. Um, and Aaron had a rough night and a rough day with seizures and feeling grotty. So he's in bed resting. Bless him. So yeah, we haven't really, we haven't done anything. Mm. 
Um, a D, Karen. D for dentist. I I I love history. Even now, you know, the same as Aaron. I enjoy listening to like history programs and stuff. Um, it just fascinates me. It really does. Okay, I'm just putting a bit of orange on uh, these guys' little toes. This is the darkest colour I'm putting on. I'm just putting a tiny, tiny little bit just on their end of Ellie's teeny, teeny, tiny little bit. Okay. Hi, Christy. Welcome, sweetheart. Thank you so much for joining. How are you doing? It was upsetting, but it was fascinating at the same time. Does that... I don't mean that to sound like morbid. <laughs> I'm just going to put a bit of a deeper colour on these. I figure if these flowers are going to be yellow, then that's just deepen up then add a little bit of this on their toes cute oh a bit darker orange oh yeah here comes trouble Hey Luna, what are you doing? Hmm? Which one of you lot? I'm making a mess over here. Hmm? Oh no, she turned away. She's like, oh, busted. Was it you? <laughs> right, I'm going to use my detailer now because it's just these little bits I want to go in with so let me just make sure I've got oh I've got leftover green on here let's just get that off okay right okay so let's do the eyes <clears throat> National Geographic. I'm going to have to look for that though, because that does sound interesting. I mean, there's some stuff that we've watched though that we we have on a couple of occasions. Just so we've had to turn it off because it was just a bit too much. It was just so upsetting. So it was like, yeah, that's uh, that's going off. Just activating the orange on these toes and any little bit of the yellow. I'm just pulling that up just so that we get a bit more of a seamless blend. <coughs> oh, that sounds lovely, so I like I said, I'll admit I, I slept a lot and then I was imminent and ahhing about live streaming, and then I thought, yep. Yeah, I, I I didn't live stream yesterday. Um, I did film some videos. I filmed a flip through and a colour and chat, but that just just doing that something as simple as that and it knocked me sideways. So I was just like, okay, yeah, there's not going to be no live stream tonight. Um, but I'm here tonight instead. So I hope you guys don't mind me imposing on your Valentine's Day. <laughs> Okay, I really like that. I really like him. Oh my gosh, he looks really cute. <laughs> oh, thank you, Madison. I'll, um, I'll pick that up after the live stream, sweetheart. Thank you. Oh, see, it, here, Karen, A to, well, when I was at school, so you're talking like 25, 26 years ago, um, a to C used to be like, you know, or oh, sorry, A plus, A star, A plus to C used to be, you know, like when you're in the higher sets for your, for your lessons. And then I think 
D and E were middle grades. Um, and then F, F, you had F, which was like the lowest you could get. And then um, I think it was a G or a U would be ungraded. So that would be like a, that would be a fail. I don't, I'm not sure how they do it now, but you know, like I said, I'm, I'm kind of referring to like, you know, 20 odd years ago. But yeah, we do, Karen. I'm, I'm, I love them all dearly, but I'm not, um, not overly happy with them at the minute. I, I feel really silly for crying. I'm, I'm so sorry you guys had to witness me crying over bloody cats peeing on my work area and destroying stuff. But like I said, this is just, this is my little and I've got our bedroom, but this is like, you know, my main filming area and where all my supplies and books are kept. So I'm just, yeah, I'm really upset. <clears throat> that's a really good idea lisa i've tried um citrus i've tried that and obviously it doesn't work um so maybe that or maybe like tea tree oil or something because that's quite strong isn't it Oh, yay, Madison, I'm so happy for you. Oh, bless you, sweetheart. You have to let me know how you get on. Right, let's just pull some of this colour up. That was an unexpected change in the colour of the flowers, but that's all right. They look, they do look nice with the pink. Nikki, you're right, they look nice with the pinky purple. They complement them really nicely, actually. You have A, B, C, D, and F. Ah, okay. See, I'm like I said, sweetheart, I'm not sure what the grading scales are now. Um, I guess I'll find out once Tegan starts her exams and stuff. I know she has, like, tests and assessments and things, but when she starts her, her proper, like, GCSEs, her mocks and stuff. Can you get, um, like... Where did you get your mocks? That's not Bless you, Minnie. Wow. A to C is a pass. Everything else is a fail. Wow. That sounds really strict. Mum, when do you get your mocks? Is it like a few weeks before the actual GCSEs? Did you start studying towards your GCSEs in year nine, I think. So next year? Well, I used to. Yeah. But, you, like I said, you're talking 20 odd years ago, Han. So. Things no, have just, highly likely changed since then. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Right. I'm just going to put these pencils back. <laughs> yeah, it should be. Oh, like I said, I'm just really, I'm upset and I'm frustrated. I'm just like, really, guys? You know, they, they, they should know better. What's that? Okay. Is everybody okay for time? Because we've been going for like nearly an hour and a half. I don't want to. I don't want to outstate my welcome or bore anybody. Okay, so I think we're done with the ink tents. Yeah, I won't, I won't, Karen. I won't. Like I said, I think, you know, obviously because Louie and Stitch were confined to the front room because the others were attacking them, I think now that we're, re you know, integrating them, I would put my money on it being, if I'm being honest, I would put my money on it being Luna because she was peeing outside the front room door 
when her and Link weren't allowed in here because they were attacking Louie and Stitch. So I would kind of put my money on it being her, sort of like trying to, I don't know, emit dominance or something, if that makes sense. Yeah, I've, I've never really known of a female cat to do that, but this is Lily we're talking about. <laughs> Oh, speaking of Devlin, she shall appear. Okay, let's um, let's pull these out and we'll add a few little details and bits and bobs. I'm all right, Rose. Yeah. Um, Lisa, sorry, sweetheart. Oh, I just quickly glanced at the screen. I'm okay. Yeah, I'm all right. I'm just. I'm upset. <laughs> I'm upset, but I'm 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 all right. Okay, so I pulled out the little inexpensive, whoops, cheapy set of watercolors. So I'm going to just put some of these in here. So I'm just gonna um in these flowers a little bit. I think that was good. Just add a bit more water. Okay. Yeah, that's good. <clears throat> wow. Yeah, a hot drink and some deep breaths. It sounds really good, Minnie. I think I'm. Yeah, I'm almost out of coffee, so I'll grab another once I'm done. Okay, I'm just... Yeah, that's just a bit much. Just wiping some of this off. I think I'll put a bit too much on. I just feather that up like that. There we go. Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. I'm so sorry. I didn't even have you in screen. What am I doing? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Now I'm done for coffee. My my brother bought me a set for Christmas and it was like three different jars of flavoured coffee. Um, I did not like the Amaretta one, but they had Havana, Havana rum and Irish cream. They were the other two. And um, the one I just finished was the rum, Havana rum one. Oh, so good. So good. Oh. Yeah, you can smell it as soon as the hot water hits those granules it's like oh my gosh it smells so good quite nicely i think i might really go with just the purple on its own just down those tiny tiny little itty bitty spaces Am I missing, am I missing chat? Live chat. Okay. Sorted. I know, Teagues. Yeah, I know, love. Oh, that sounds lovely, Minnie. Have you had a good day? That sounds so nice. Hey, Link. Link's sat on the chair next to me. <laughs> Bless him.
Yeah, that's it, Madison. Go for it. Woohoo! You go, girly. <laughs> just honestly, sweetheart, just take a deep breath and just enjoy putting the colour on the paper. And then the rest, like I said, the rest will come. The rest will come. Don't overthink it. I I do that quite often and once you sort of just learn to let that go oh my gosh it makes so much difference and I've found that like doing that even though I'm still guilty of overthinking sometimes I don't do it anywhere near as much as I used to so now like books that I would be quite intimidated to tackle I'm just like right take a deep breath don't overthink it don't think about the outcome and just enjoy putting the colour on that page and then work at it and that's what I'm doing, and it, it, it really does make a difference. Oops. Oh, that sounds so nice, Minnie. I'm glad you had a good day, sweetie. I'm really glad you had a good day. You deserve it. Wow, okay. Can you go grab the little ones, please? yeah they've had an extra half an hour <laughs> without me realizing oh whoops see i'm having so much fun chatting to you guys I didn't even realize the bloody time oh my word No, 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 you guys have ended up having an extra half an hour because I didn't realise the time. So it's time to turn the telly and everything off now and it's settled to sleep, okay? Mm -hmm. I love you. Oh, big squeeze. Mm. Happy Valentine's Day, buddy. I love you. Hello. Right, move your, Hello. Move your arm. Move your arm. Thank you. Right, Emmy. Come on, sweetie. You, I just said to Caden, you guys have ended up having an extra half an hour. I didn't realise how late it was. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So it's time to turn everything off now. Okay. All right. And yeah. get some sleep. Okay. All right. And get a good night's sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And kisses. I love you. Oh. Happy Valentine's Day, puppet. You too, mummy. Right, go on. Go into bed, tellies and everything off. No yeah. mess, no, listen, no messing around because daddy's resting. No, mum, why do I need the tablet? Just put it over on my desk upstairs. Okay. Or if it needs charging, give it to Tegan. It no, put it outside need. Tegan's room. It doesn't need charging. It doesn't? Okay, we'll put it on my desk then. And then it'll be ready for you for the morning. Mum, should I just... Um, Walk in the room. Well, if you knock very, very gently and you don't get an answer, it means Daddy's asleep. So just go put it in very, very quietly, okay? okay. Good girl. Night, night night. Remember what I said? No chatting or messing around. What book did you try colouring in, Lisa? I'm sure it's not that bad. Don't beat yourself up about it, sweetie. If we don't try, then we're never going to know, are we? You know, maybe just put it aside for a little bit and then when you feel up to it, just take another look. And it, I, I bet you'll be pleasantly surprised. I've done that before. Thought, oh my gosh, the page is ruined. It looks awful. And then, you know, give it a bit of time and then after a while take a look at it and it's like, oh, okay, well, maybe it's not as bad as I thought, you know. Yeah. He said put it on your desk. Yeah. I actually was going to put it on your chair because there's too much stuff okay. on your desk. Put it wherever, sweetheart. But remember what I said, I don't want you and Caden up there chit-chatting and messing around. Okay? 
I'm going to pull in some of these greens as well, I think, for our little froggy friends. Yeah. yeah. They're what? They're doing better. Yeah, they are doing a lot better. They they all are. They're all doing amazing. But whichever one of them is peeing, seriously needs to stop. Yeah, I think it's her as well. But you know, I can't prove it, and I don't want to jump to conclusions because that's not that's not fair. Okay, just add a tiny bit more water. I think we've got a nice deeper green here just to add a little bit of um, shadow on our frogs. <coughs> I'm just going to do that. You don't need to thank me to you then, you live here. <laughs> Bless you. Yeah, Madison, don't be deceived. <laughs> the majority of the time they're great, but when they when they have their moments, they really have their moments. So yeah. <laughs> but then, you know, like I've said before, we all we all get our days, don't we? Okay, so I'm just trying to add a little bit of like texture and shadow to these frogs just a, just a little bit not I don't want to add too much but I just want to kind of acknowledge the little bits of shading that Kirby has put in if that makes sense yeah. so do you see how it just let me move this aside just gives him a little bit of texture so you can see those lighter colors popping through a little bit so this is all I want to do on these little guys. <laughs> they do, Minnie. We caught them the other night at nearly 10 o'clock. Bearing in mind, it was lights out at 8. And, uh, yeah, they were in there chit-chatting away. And it was like, do you guys have any idea what time it is? So, but, you know, Aaron and I have been having many a conversation. Because, yet again, the bedroom situation isn't working out. But that is just such a stressful conversation because we're limited as to who can go where, you know? You know, ideally we would have a four bedroom house so that, you know, all the kids had their own bedroom, but we don't. So we just have to, you know, make make the most of what we have. And we're, we're very lucky, you know, to have a three bedroom house, but it's just, it's, it's not working. So yeah, a bit of a, a bit of a nightmare at the moment. Oh, bless you, Madison. That sounds lovely. And if it's something like that, that really means a lot to you, then I would go for it, you know, so long as, you know, I think with tattoos, you know, like the rest of your life, then, yeah, go for it. They, I'll, I'll give them their due, Karen. Their their manners are lovely. They do forget them at home sometimes, but nine times out of ten, they're they're lovely. They they've gone through a spell not that long ago actually of just completely forgetting their manners altogether. So I had to sort of keep picking them up and being like, "Uh, you're missing something," and it was like, "Oh, oh, okay," you know. Um. But it's it's something that I was always brought up with that you know manners don't cost anything. Um, you know my mum was a single parent for the majority, and um, you know she 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 set you know good good guidelines and things to to stick by, and you know a lot of that now I use for my kids. 
so yeah man is you know man is just they, they cost nothing and it's so important to me as well that's like a big thing with me is man is <laughs> really is man is and being honest like yeah they're the they're the biggies for me <clears throat> oh nice mini what do you think of it what do you think of the wilds of wilds have you worked in it yet it's such a gorgeous book i was saying earlier sweetheart i don't know if you were here then or or not um but i was saying that i've got my double page spread whip in there the shoes at the back of the book I started that ages ago and I, I hate to say I haven't gone back to it. Oh, okay. Wow. That actually worked nicely. <laughs> I just dipped into the light green, but like just as, as it is and just dotted a little bit on this. Literally, I'm just dipping into whoops, uh, this colour here. Just as it is, just a tiny, tiny, ever so small bit on the end of my brush. And I'm just like, kind of like, st maybe stippling it a little bit, I guess. That's a little bit of texture. Okay, and then just wipe that off and then just blend that there by his belly a little bit. I like it. Okay. Oops. There. I really like that. <clears throat> oh, bless you, Lisa. I'll have a look when I'm done. But I'm sure it's beautiful. Don't don't stress about it. Don't stress. I bet it looks. I bet it looks lovely. You're probably being too hard on yourself, Flower. Thank you, Madison. Do you know, I'm really enjoying them. <laughs> I am really, really enjoying this. And I've not used pencil on it. That was my thing for this page. It's like, do not shade with pencil. Because I, I look at stuff sometimes and I think, oh, I need to shade it. It doesn't look how I want it to but with this I'm actually I'm really happy I'm like oh my gosh I'm so pleased I came on to live stream as well this is really um it's really giving me the pick me up I needed this week so thank you all for joining and keeping me company really really appreciate it okay so let's just blot some of that now not adding colour, I'm ju just like botting it with water just to soften it a smidge. <clears throat> and then we've got this little dude up here. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Blob a bit of that green sort of on his back legs and by his tummy, like there. A little bit on his nose. Okay, I'll wipe that off and then just. I do have a white watercolour in here, so I'm just wondering, is my screen, there we go, looked a bit, um, um, oh, what's the word, oh my gosh, um, oh, fuzzy, <laughs> oh, bless you, Madison. Yeah, that's it, Karen. Man is, you know, man is a man is afraid they cost nothing. Thank you, Nikki. Oh, thank you, Shah, and welcome. <laughs> it's lovely to see you. Thank you so much. Honestly, Minnie, just colour whatever makes you happy, sweetheart. If you want to start a page, go for it. Right, let's just get the blue off of that. I think I've got it. Okay. I'm going to try a little bit of this white watercolour just like as it is. 
Was that any of the cats like? No, Lynch just jumped in this morning. Oh, he's scared Stitch, I think. I've still got green on my brush, that's what's doing it. Okay. Pull that off. Okay, I just want to use a bit of this white watercolour just to see if I can lighten up these yellow and yellow flowers a bit. Oops, what a hair on there. So again, these are just the really inexpensive watercolours that I'm using at the minute. Okay, so I, it looks like I can fade it a little bit, which is still better than nothing. Just pull that down a bit. Yeah, okay. I think I like that a bit better. Whoops. Again on this one, just I knew I would enjoy this page, but I'm enjoying it a lot more than I thought I would. If that makes sense, which is really nice. You know, I might even go in with a bit of white acrylic on these just to lighten it again ever so slightly. Okay, as you can see, I'm putting the watercolour on quite thick on these. Okay, so I'm definitely toning them down which is nice. I'm trying to be careful. I don't want to like oversaturate the page or make the paper start pilling or anything, which I think I might be running the risk of. Just added a bit of water to the paint. Hey Link. Okay. Of course it is Madison. Yeah, I would love to see it, sweetheart. Email away. Always makes me smile when I get emails from you guys. It's lovely. It really brightens my day. You know, I see someone's name pop up in my inbox and I'm like, oh my gosh. It's really lovely. Just means a lot that you guys take time out of your day to message me or join live streams, watch videos. It it really does, you know, because like I always say, if it wasn't for you guys, the channel wouldn't be what it is. You know, I appreciate it so so much. Okay, so we've we've paled those down quite a bit, which I'm really really pleased with. I do like the little froggies. So all we've got left is the stems of the flowers and a couple of these leaves down here. So that is all we have left. How long have we been going? Nearly two hours. Do you guys want me to carry on? Because I'm just, I'm worried. I'm thinking, okay, this White's not great, but it's it's really done a good job, you know, toning those toning those flowers down. So I'm I'm really happy, and I do like the purple that we've added to this. I do really like that. What are we? Right, you both need to stop, please. I tell him, but I've said to stop. Any more nonsense? then I will be coming upstairs and telling you. You both need to settle, please. It's way past your bedtime as it is. How I say froggies. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lisa. <laughs> Carry on. I'm not sure what 
what I can do on this page at the minute. Um, it's not, it's not too bad. Um, I was trying to think what to do on here. But do you know what, Minnie? They wouldn't mind. They've been bugging me when they're going to have schoolwork to do because they want to do it. So, yeah, it's not really going to make... It's not really going to make much of a difference. Um, I think what I'm going to do is put this one aside. Um... I don't even know what books are damaged now. Um, I'm trying to think. What would you guys like to see? You tell me what you want want me to do, and I'll I'll happily I'll happily do it. I'm just going to put this one over here and let that one dry. So I couldn't uh I couldn't do that. They they love it. See I'm gonna have to yeah they've oh my god. Okay, look, this is the refills for my gel pens. Look, this is this is what I'm gonna have to deal with. Where the cats have just ruined stuff. It's ridiculous. Oh, Lisa, that would be so amazing. That would be really lovely. Sounds good, Madison. Yeah, it sounds good. Um, I'm just trying to see what I've got, like, within easy reach. Okay. Um, what's up here? Please don't say they've got that one as well. Okay, I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm just checking this off screen because I don't want to. Okay, I think we're okay with this one. I think. I've got a whip in here. This is the um, Disney. Let me zoom out. Disney Christopher Robin Deluxe coloring book, and I have a whip in here. I started ages ago. This one. I started this ages ago with um, with ink tents, and I just I don't know. I never came back to it. I, but the paper is gorgeous. Right, can you excuse me please for two minutes because um, the kids are shouting, I can hear them up there. Give me two seconds, I'm really sorry I have to do this. I'm so sorry about that, everyone. Thank you. Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay. 
Okay. So we can do this one. I'm just trying to think through what I want to use on it. Do I want to carry on with watercolours? Mm, I kind of want to use markers, if I'm being honest. Pencils. Um, oh, see, the cats have peed with my pencil cases are as well. Um, let's just check. I think the Prismacolor case seems okay. <sighs> Comes to something, doesn't it, when you have to check everything because it hasn't got cat pee on it. Alright, okay, I'm just missing a couple, but that's alright. I think I've got I think I've got everything I need in here. So I'm just gonna go in with some Prismas if that's alright for you guys. Oh, I would love to go to like the castles and stuff where they filmed Harry Potter. That would be amazing, wouldn't it? Okay, let me zoom in a little bit. Whoops. See, this is the thing. When I'm live streaming, I go to zoom in a tiny bit and it like takes me right in. How's is that all right? Or is that too much? It looks phone. <clears throat> it really is, Karen. <laughs> I'm kind of like thinking mm, maybe I should treat us to a, a bottle of wine when I do our um, online grocery shopping. <sighs> maybe I should do that tomorrow night once the kids are settled, come down here, pull everything out with a glass of wine. <laughs> glass of wine, rubber gloves, cleaning stuff. Yeah, it's, it's all going to be going on, isn't it? Uh, I have to laugh because if I don't, I'm going to cry and I don't want to cry again because it's embarrassing. Um, okay. Um, oh, see, I, oh, I don't want to use my electric pencil sharpener either because it's got cat pee on it. I'm just, I'm, uh, I'm going to go with just, we'll just go with what, what we have and make the best of it. Really, I should deal with all of this tonight, but I just... It's been a lot, you know, just trying to clear up enough to to stream. So yeah, I'll pull I'll pull everything out tomorrow. <clears throat> oh bless you, Madison. I'm so glad that they help. Oh bless you, sweetheart. Thank you. I'm just adding a bit of shading to Winnie the Pooh. I mean, it has to be done, doesn't it? And then I'm going to use my gorgeous pan pastels for the background. I think they'll look beautiful. And then um, I'm going to try my fixative. I don't know if any of you have tried it. I bought the Frisk pastel fixative. Has anyone used that before? That brand or, or know if it's you know, if it's okay to to use. It just, it was the first one that came up that I thought, well, okay, it says it's specifically for like pastels and stuff. So I thought that would be good. I'm just, I'm really scared to try it. But I really need to because of obviously that froggy page we're working on. But I'm scared that if I use it on that, it's going to make all the pen and watercolour and stuff bleed. So proud of so far. Um, neither Karen. I prefer rose. Yeah, I prefer rose. I used to drink white, but yeah, I just no. I I. It's only rose now, and even then, that is like so super super rare that you know we have alcohol. You know, give me a coffee any day of the week and I'm happy. I'm a cheap date. <laughs> okay. He's got a little bit of shading to him. Okay, I'm going to go with... Oh, thank 
you so much. Oh, oh, thank you. What's wrong? It's like you've got a purple one of our work there. A what? <laughs> it looks like you've got a purple one. Have, have, have I got watercolour on me? Hang on. No, just... <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, I have. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for telling me. Good job you guys can't see me, isn't it? I've got purple watercolour all over my eyebrow. I don't know how that happened, but, um, wow. <laughs> Bless you, Minnie. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much, Elisa. Bless you. Oh, sorry, Nikki. I'm letting the frog page um, dry. I'll give you a quick... There you go. I managed to lighten up these a little bit with some white watercolour. I'm going to have to add a little bit of colour back into the bottom of it. A good time to, to dry. So I figured while that's drying, we'll move on and finish this whip. So I'm, I'm really sorry if I confused you. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, bless you, Minnie. Sometimes it needs to be done. Sometimes it just needs to be done, doesn't it? Okay. Okay. Just to put in those light areas now. Be nice to finish this one. I really hope I'm not overstaying my welcome. I, I know I've been on here a long time. Let's add some red to this post box. Wine coffee colour. <laughs> Bless you, Karen. Just bring yourself. Bring yourself, sweetheart. <laughs> Nikki, I'm the same. Yeah, easily confused. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to add a deeper red here, where it looks like some shading would be on the post box. So this is going to be a really kind of, you know, quite a simple and subtle page. But I think that will be really nice and it will suit the, the artwork, I think. If I can just keep it just soft and subtle. And here's me in a minute. I'm going to go with black and do all this. So. Yeah, I want to just try and keep this as soft as I can, but still adding adding bits. I might even go in with a fine liner and just add some more little leaves and things to the bushes. But that's, but that's just me thinking out loud. Here's an idea. Not to say it would definitely happen. Tegan's made me another coffee, bless her heart. Dear of her. Yeah, so let's hope Caden and Emmy settle now. Some nights they settle really well and then other nights they wind each other up. Something awful. And it's just... Yeah, they were going on and on and on about sharing a bedroom. Who shared it? They each got their own space, but you know they they share the the huge, great, big master bedroom as it would as it would be called. And um, it's not working out. It's really not. So I've got like a really good amount of this deep red here. You want to buy crunchies? <laughs> they do, Lisa. Yeah, they do. She is just... Oh, I can't. I just... Oh. She never fails to amaze me, you know? She's just a sweetheart. I'm talking about you. <laughs> She's like, who? <laughs> oh, 
God bless her, Lisa. See, it sounds like sounds like we're both very much alike. No. Yes, darling. What did you do? <gasps> she broke the skin. Yeah. Mm. She is. Yeah. While well, she's making me a coffee, Marilyn um, decided to climb Tegan's leg. So, uh, hey, watch. Who's growling? Ah, uh, boys. Okay, we have some growling going on. Trying to do this and listen out for the kids and keep an eye on the cat. We don't have a fourth bedroom, mini. That's the problem. That's exactly the problem we have. We we really need a fourth room. Um, the big bedroom, the like I said, the master bedroom, if that makes sense. But it's just like I said, it's just not. It is not working out at all. So we have to. I don't know. Is it? See, this is an issue that we've been having for a good few years now. You know, there's just not enough room, and it's it's really frustrating. So I haven't used my prisoners in ages. It's a bit of a learning curve using them again, actually. Hear jingling. I think that's one of the cats playing with a toy. Yeah. Um, the Santa. Who is it? Me. All oh, right. Yeah, I think I just need to get in here tomorrow. Some rubber gloves and just. Give it a good deep clean and see, like check the damage of like the books and stuff, which I'm dreading, if I'm being honest, I'm really dreading it. Don't even want to look. Okay, I'm going to leave the post box like this. I don't really want to blend it too much if I'm being honest. I kind of like that. Um, you know, where you can see like, the white space. I like that. Yeah, I do. I like that. Let's do... I'm just trying to think, because I'm, I'm new to pan pastels. Is it easier for me to do the background first and then go over the trees with pencil? Or is it easier to do the pencil first and then go over this? Oh, bless you, Lisa. Yeah, it's, it's a nightmare because, you know, obviously Tegan's a, a young woman now, you know, so she she needs her own space. So she, and the two little ones are in the big bedroom. Um, Caden used to have the tiny bedroom. Tegan used to have the medium room. And then um, we used to share with Emmy. And then there was a point where Tegan shared with Emmy. Caden had the little room. We were in the medium room. And it... <sighs> Whichever way we do it, it doesn't work. It's not, um, I can't think of the word, but it's just, yeah, it, it doesn't work. So, pff, I don't know. I don't know what to do. 
Okay, so I'm just going in with a um, paper make flare in black just to put the, the bands here on the post box. I'm kind of thinking I might put the pastel down first. Can you work on top of pastel with pencil? I see. Oh, I should have watched like videos really, shouldn't I, beforehand? I th think the thing is, I think sometimes it's better to just find out yourself and learn. Yeah, does that make sense? Okay, this needs to be black, but I think if I do that, that's going to be a lot, isn't it? Hmm. I need to think about that. Oh, bless you, Karen. Okay, let me just think about this. I'm going to do that bit and that bit black. Oops. Okay. And then here, this band bit, and do that black. I just figure while I've got the black pen out. I'm Oh, bless you, Minnie. Yeah, it, you know, it makes sense, doesn't it? You know, in certain situations and circumstances, you know, people do need their own room. And, that, you know, that's like with Tegan at the moment, you know, she's a, she's a young woman now. So, yeah, you know, the girls could share, but Tegan needs her own space. So... And we would never expect her to give up her bedroom, you know? It does, Karen. Yeah, it does. <laughs> if it comes from Royal Mail, then yeah. Yeah. Oh. Um, yeah, it does. I haven't got an envelope here with some with anything on it that I could show you. Obviously, if it comes from like Amazon or something, then it doesn't. But if it's something that just gets sent through regular post, then yeah, it does. Okay. Right. We do have a dining room shower, but we use that mostly for the cats, for like their litter trays and all that good stuff because we don't want that in the kitchen or the living room, if that makes sense. Um, so our dining room is in the, well, our dining table, should I say, is in the living room as well because our living room is exactly the same size and shape as the great big master bedroom upstairs. Um... It's, yeah, it, oh. <laughs> it's a nightmare. I need to pull my finger out and get decorating. I think that will help my depression and stuff as well because I've been really struggling with that lately. Hi, Luna, welcome. Thank you for joining. Oh, that is, I'm, oh sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm pull out my pan pastels. I'm going to do background if I can get oh, if I can get them out of the box so it's the color color tints that I'm going to be using um like I said earlier I do have a set of bl um not blue of greens that I've been sent they're absolutely beautiful but two of them have crushed and I'm oh, I'm gutted 
I'm not too bad, thank you, Luna. How are you doing? Thank you so much for joining. It's lovely to see you. Right, I need some, whoops, some blues. Let's see what's... Okay. Um, where's the blue ones? Oh, that of that flavour? Yeah. That's all right. Um, we're going to be ordering some coffee with groceries. Anyway, that's green. Pastels. But instead of in sticks, it's in like pots. And they are like... They're like butter. They are amazing. Oh, I hope you had a good day at work and that it wasn't too busy. Sorry, I'm just... Oh, uh, I'm looking through these for the blue ones. Maybe I should look for the ones like a bluey, purpley top. That one. I wanted something a little bit darker, but that, that could definitely work. So let's keep... Okay, let's keep that one out. Um. Hmm. I think right now I'm just going to go with this one. Is there greenies in any of these? I think there was some in here, wasn't there? Like greeny. Gosh, I'm so sorry. Wow, Lisa, they certainly keep you in toes. Uh, oh my gosh. I'm so sorry about this, guys. Please forgive me. Okay, so it's like minty green, like bluey green. Oh, and then oh gosh, I can't get there. Okay, let's see. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go for the pale green as well. I'll just I don't know, give a little bit of something to was that one, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Right, we got there in the end. Okay, so these two. These two I'm going to use. I've got this one, which has got a blue on it already. So let's do this for the sky. I'm just adding this on really gently. I'm working in little circles. I don't know if that's the right way or not. I'm going to blend that up now. Gorgeous. Wow, Karen. So that was a, a late surprise, finding out that you were having twins. Oh, bless you. Are you having twins? Karen's got um, twin boys, but she didn't, she didn't find out until she was like seven months pregnant. <laughs> not going to be able to do it perfectly. I, I imagine I should be able to go over this with pencil or whatnot. I wonder if I need to spray it first though. Oh, that's a thought. Yeah, that might be an idea. Can I, can I, if I spray pastel fixative, can I work on top of it then once it's dry? I'm sorry, I'm asking you guys all these questions. I'm so sorry. 
this is so perfect. I love it. Love these so much. These are definitely one of my favourite supplies. And it's it's great because I'm not I'm not putting too much pressure on my hands at all. It's you know more than manageable for me with my arthritis to to work with these, which is great. I really love the soft effects that I'm getting. And the little girls are a really long way. They're so pigmented. I'm literally just sort of dabbing the sponge on like that. I'm not even rubbing it. And it's, yeah, it's working beautifully. I, I can work on top once I've sprayed fixative. Just don't spray it on my hair. Oh, no, 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 Karen. That's Gorilla Glue, isn't it? <laughs> isn't that the new thing? Gorilla Glue in the hair. What did I see that on? I think it came up in the adverts on something. It might have been YouTube. I know I saw it on somewhere very, very recently, like within the last day or two. Somebody had to have, I think it was a girl had to have an operation because she used Gorilla Glue in her hair. And I was just like, what? am I reading this right? <laughs> really? Someone really did that? She may have had a good reason, I don't know, but yeah, I thought that was like for arts and crafts and stuff. <laughs> She's trying, really? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Just trying to see them and it's her fault. Well, good luck for that. Okay, I'm going to, am I going to... Maybe I can just I wonder if I use this one. Would that maybe one of the one of these might be better. I think I used did I use one somewhere? I thought I used one somewhere. Was it that? Yeah, it was the one in here, so I'm gonna just use that. I don't wanna use up a new one if I can help it I'll just use the back of the the back of the other one. Oh, but saying that that's in that set isn't it oh shoot okay um oh no 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 that's fine ignore me ignore me I'm having a moment <laughs> what's new what's new uh okay cool Um, Luna, this is the Disney Christopher Robin Deluxe Colouring Book by Centum. Um, and this is just a work in progress I've had in here for quite a while. Um, so while the other page I'm working on is drying, I figured I would, I would do this. <laughs> Hi, Kirsty. Hi, sweetheart. How are you doing? Happy Valentine's Day. Hope you and the family are all doing well and that you're having a good day. So I'm just going to put this green sort of like, I don't know, like just a little bit around like the, where the greenery is. <clears throat> oh, bless you, Shah. I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's arthritis is no fun, but this is... um. The pan pastels I'm finding are a supply that they don't, they're not putting pressure on my hands. It's, they're wonderful to use. They really are. But I'm just thinking, okay, well, I'm doing this now and I, I think I should be using a fixative <laughs> on it before I do the trees and stuff. So I might have to grab that. Oh, thank you, Kirsty. <laughs> oh my gosh, Karen. That is crazy, isn't it? I just, oh, baffles me. It really does baffle me. 
craziness. So I just want to give, like I said, I just wanted to give like a really soft like green glow. Just around like the greenery area. I, I, don't, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just playing, but I like it. And like I said, I don't have to rub the brushes on the pan pastels at all. I literally just dab them and it picks up so much pigment. And a little really does go a long way. So, yeah, these are definitely one of my absolute favourite nude supplies. I love them. But just a little bit here because I'm going to be putting some greenery on the trees as well. Hi, Bubbles. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining. It's lovely to see you. Doing a bit of a longer live stream tonight. <laughs> But that's all right. We're having fun. We're having fun. Okay, so I'm just, like I said, just putting this around like the leaves and stuff. Around where the greenery is. I just want to give like a really lovely, soft, sort of whimsical effect just to match the sketchy style of the drawings but yeah I want to add like some little pops with fine liner and stuff too so we've got our pencil here just see if I can just blend some of that out a little bit there I don't even know if that's noticeable on camera for you guys, really, but I've had a little bit of green. <clears throat> they really do, Kirsty. This is a perfect person to ask, sweetheart, if you don't mind me picking your brain. Um, I bought the Frisk Pastel Fixative. Will that affect, like, watercolours and um, ink tents and fine liners and stuff? If I've already used that on a page and also if I spray it on this page can I work over it with pencils and pens I don't know if, if you would know I'm so sorry but I thought oh guess he's got more experience with mixed media so I figured you would probably be the best person to ask sweetheart if you don't if you don't mind <clears throat> Oh, you ordered two copies of Fragile Wild Luna. It's such a beautiful book. It's lovely. Sorry, I just slapped my coffee. <laughs> I think you might, Nikki. They're gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. That sounds like a great idea, Luna. Karen, they're so soft, sweetheart. Honestly, like, it's like, I don't even know how to describe it. Do you know, you get, obviously, like, the little sticks, don't you, of, like, chalk pastels. It's like that, but in a much more compact form. But it's so soft so so soft and like with the like the applicators and the other like sponges and stuff that come with it it's so easy to apply so yeah i i'm i am not intimidated by backgrounds anymore <laughs> i love them so i do think i'm gonna um expand my set and hopefully one day have all of them because these are a dream and especially for me with my arthritis like i mentioned just now it's great. They are amazing. It's not a workable fixative. So, okay, so if it's not workable, does that mean it really, oh, excuse me, <clears throat> it really is, Karen. It's gorgeous. Really, really lovely. It's so soft. I, do you know what? It's funny because I think they're actually exactly the same two colours. Uh, yeah. They're the exact same two colours that I use on the background on this one. <laughs> it's 
so yeah but this is my page where it's like you're not using pencils so I can't shade with pencils or anything I'm just yeah but I do think because I'm loving it I think this is definitely going to be a mixed media book the um the fragile wild one I'm really nervous about this fixative you know hmm Oh, I'm so sorry, Kirsty. My the internet looks fine on my phone, but on my computer screen, it looks like it's buffering. What, darling? It's definitely half time. Is what, sweet? It is definitely half time, isn't it? Yeah. Because I've got meetings tomorrow. And my team's Well, you shouldn't have. What? What time does it say your first one is? Eight forty. That's true. Really? It's supposed to be half time. I would wait until the morning and see if they're still there. Tuesday, I've got all my lessons. You broke up Friday, and then you've got this week off, and then the twenty second, which is next oh, Monday. Okay. Um, that's a not yeah, it's a non pupil day for you, not for the little ones. They will return to home learning, but you have that day off. Yeah. You go back for Tuesday, so I don't know what's up with that. I'll have a look on the um. Website. Yeah, Microsoft Teams, Kirsty. <laughs> That's what all the kids are using at the minute. The little ones are using it, and Tegan's got it for her lessons as well. But I mean, you've probably just heard she's questioning whether it is half time this week, which I know it definitely is because she's got two lessons set for tomorrow. She's got two. No. I'll have a look on the um, Facebook school page. Thank you. Once I'm done. I might just need like like like. Um, oh. mm. Um, yeah, so I'm just thinking if it's not a workable fixative, then I can't, I can't go over the top. I don't know what to do. I'm going to try it. I think I'm, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to try it. Um, I'm just going to plonk one of those in the middle of the page just to, you know, copyright and all that good stuff. Um, I'm just going to go quickly grab the fixative. I'll be straight back. And that was my chair, that wasn't me fine. <laughs> it's literally a link from you. Oh, let me just stop and get along. Peepers, I am back. Peepers, <laughs> hey, Shalene says that. <laughs> Sorry, Shalene, I took your word. Ah, okay. Well, you need to like ventilate when you're spraying it. Okay. Right, I'm just going to move it over here near the window. 
Um, Kirsty, I want to go over the top with, um, oh my goodness, maybe some pencils and fine liners. This is the, this is the, um, this is the fixative I bought. I've never used it. I've literally just took the lid off. Frisk. Uh, pastel fixative suitable for use with pastel crayon charcoal chalk and transfer lettering can i go over the top of that i'm just giving it a really good shake okay so i need to stand quite a bit away i'm really sorry guys you've got a blank screen um uh, look at some pastels they're pretty <laughs> um tegan can you open the front door and look louie and i can hear him outside Baba. Okay, so a thin Louis. thin layer. Okay. Okay, I think that's okay. Cool. Right, so that's sprayed. So I just I just leave this to dry now. Hi Shelly, hi gorgeous, thank you so much for joining, lovely to see you, okay, right, I'll probably give it too much, but, oh, okay, um, where should I put that, I'm going to keep that in my cart, I think, I'm just, just put that down there, there we go. Okay, and keep that window open because wow, that stuff is um. Mummy, is that what the dog with the really is quite um it's quite smelly isn't it wow <laughs> yeah i sprayed it by the window Kirsty, but whew. that sounds like a good idea lena if, if, if it's a seven and a half hour flight then um You certainly need something to keep you busy. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, Kaz. I, I have no idea. It said like a, a light layer. And I was like, um, mm. didn't know if I got the edges or not. So, I, yeah, I did go a bit crazy. I'm so sorry. <sighs> I'm not a virgin to pastel fixative anymore. <laughs> so, a lot less next time. It's a learning curve, isn't it? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so the pastels can go away. Oh, here comes trouble. Molly, what are you doing? I see you. <laughs> oh, certainly not, Kirsty. Jeez, that stuff is... um super strong the thing is it's absolutely tipping down outside so i can't i can't like take the book out and spray it out there so i opened the the living room window Morning. and done it there instead but oh my gosh she is she is on one <laughs> Not just me then, Kirsty. <laughs> oh, bless you, Minnie. Do you think, like, the situation with COVID, do you think that would allow you to still be able to do that in August?
just letting it dry. Wow, oh my gosh. Uh, who's fighting? I have no idea. Marilyn. It's not Stitch. Oh, Marilyn and Luna. Oh, Luna. No, it's, it's Luna. Link's here. Yeah, Marilyn and Luna. Really, girls? Mother and daughter, you should not be fighting. Like, who's the What are they doing, bud? Are you hiding over here with me? Link's over here next to me. He's like, I am staying out of that. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine, Renee. What are you doing? Do not even think about spraying. Hmm? This is one of the reasons we had you muted, mister. You need to stop. <clears throat> yeah, I, yeah, I understand that, Minnie. Oh, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Okay, do you think this will be all right now? Well, nothing's bled through, so that's good. So I should be okay to work over this with markers and stuff now then. Oh, thank you so much, Kirsty. You're a star. Thank you. Right, I'm going to shut up this car and stuff. Luna and Marlino. <coughs> Whoops. I'm so sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <clears throat> it sounds like Luna and Marlina having a bit of a to do. Oh, I've got some got peach beige. See what pencils I'm missing. Um, hmm. I don't know. Um, well, let's just you know, just do that. Oh my gosh, what's that? these cats that I'm not happy with them at all. Okay, let's grab a couple of these. And what's that? A medium. Gosh, Luna. <laughs> um, oh, it, I guess it depends really what you prefer colouring with sweetheart and what you think would be best like portable wise if that makes sense I'd hate to choose something and then you'd be like oh I wish I brought the other thing that's a lot of pressure <laughs> I think it's just down to personal preference, like what you prefer using, isn't it? These are working really nice over the top of the fixative. I'm impressed.
Yeah, that's it, Kirsty. Yeah, that's good thinking, actually. I'm just going to work on the trees a bit and then I think I'm going to call it a night because this is a, a bit of a long live stream I didn't think we'd be going for this long if I'm being honest but I don't know about you guys I'm enjoying it <laughs> <coughs> yay Karen are they arriving today So exciting. I love it when you can like track them on a map and it's like, oh, there are eight stops away. It's fun. Okay, let me just do this. Whoa, Merlin, oh my gosh. Surprise attack! <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> oh. <laughs> the animals. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Dark brown. Mrs. Really? You're very lovely, but do you have to do that? Huh? It's really not. It's really not good for the anxiety. Seriously. Whew. They do, Shelley. Honestly, she just like pounced at me out of nothing. Well, first time where I could have passed out fixative and now I'm going over with pencils. I'm using my Prisma colours. I haven't used these in so long. I've been using my Pablos a lot this month actually. Well, on the pages that I have been colouring. Hey Marilyn. How you doing pretty girl? How you doing? Hmm? Showing up when you fluffy tail. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Right, go on, baby. Don't jump up again, please. She's like, Pff, whatever. <laughs> she doesn't care. Oh, what are you up to now? Seriously. That's my bin. Get out. <laughs> oh. Wow, Luna, I hope you're able to keep, you know, keep safe and warm. Yeah, I think a lot of us, haven't we, been um, experiencing cold weather a lot recently. Yeah. Oh, nice, Kirsty. Is that the full set? I don't use mine enough, you know. But then I think that with a lot of supplies, you know, that's why I try to alternate. But things like this where I'm like doing mixed media, I love it. Mixed media just makes me really happy. But yeah, definitely have supplies I need to pull out and appreciate. Well, it's not that I don't appreciate them, but you know, I just need to pull them out and, and make use of them, you know, and, and enjoy them. That's why we have our supplies, right? So, yeah, it's definitely something I need to... Definitely something I need to do. So I'm just putting this darker colour, sort of like where these little lines are. Because I'm guessing that would be like where shading and stuff would be. I, I don't know, I'm just... That's what I'm taking it as. Oh, they're lovely, Kirsty. They're really nice.
Um, but yeah, they're lovely and they're really soft to hold in the hand as well. So, oh no! Oh. Dear, did you have an eraser? Oh shoot! No, you got one up in your school pencil case. Look, look. Um, I'm sort of dropping my pencil and I've got a brown line across there. Yeah. It's not funny. <laughs> it's not funny. I want to finish this. I can cross this whip off of my list then. Do you know what? That's actually not a bad idea. While I'm going through and deep cleaning all of this tomorrow, thanks to the cats. Um... I could just go through and make sure my list of whips is up to date. I could do that, couldn't I? Yeah. We'll do that, I think. Oh my gosh, Minnie, no, I don't blame you. Jeez. Oh, I'll definitely be watching that, Kirsty. I need all the help with hair and stuff that I can get. But you've done another um, couple, haven't you? With like different colours and stuff. Really need to get caught up on videos. I feel like I'm really behind. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm getting there slowly but surely. So I'm just going to blend this dark brown with sienna brown oh you little lifesaver thank you so much no 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 it's all right i just want to oh i can still see it but that's all right thank you so much honey um yes yeah, so i'm just blending in that darker brown marlene 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 Stephen, can you go grab her, please? Really, honey? Honey, get down. Can I have permission to go on the sofa and get her? Yes. Stitch, you can't reach, baby. <laughs> He's reaching up the wall. He's like, I'll oh, help. If, if there's like a whole drawer of crumbs behind the door now, like Marlene, you better not miss this. Honestly, here. these animals. Oh, can you actually see them? <laughs> I think once I'm done live streaming, I just need to turn out all the lights and then hopefully they'll settle. Ah, they are Kirsty. Yeah, ours are the same. Ours are the same, but I'm I'm not happy with them at the minute. I think you came in after like we had spoken about it. I had to clear up my work area down here because when I came in, they had peed on stuff. There was some poop, and I'm just like, are you are you kidding me? Seriously, I just, I got so upset. So I need to. I'd give it like a good clean, but I need to pull everything out tomorrow and deep clean because I'm that there's definitely you know they've definitely peed on some books again. So I am not a happy camper with the cats. I would never hurt them or anything like that, but I'm just yeah, I, I love them to pieces. They're just not my favourite fur babies at the moment. <laughs> that sounds really awful to say. It sounds horrible saying that out loud. I'm, I'm just upset, you know. But what can we do? What can we do? Okay. This is looking nice. I like it. Um, Mini, Louie is... Let me think. He will be nine in March. Stitch will be three in May. Link and Luna are two. Um, and Merlin is ten months. Ten, eleven months. So, yeah, I love them, and I, I would never, ever hurt them, but I'm just, 
I'm really frustrated with them at the moment. Just put in these areas that haven't got any colour yet and also just to blend in a little bit. Oh, bless you, Zoe. Welcome back. <laughs> I'm still here. Just uh, working on a whip. I really, really, really now want to get it finished. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for joining, Luna. Take care, sweetie. Yeah, not happy, Kirsty. I have my suspicions as to who it was, but yeah. Um, okay, let's. I think I want to use one of my retractable gel pens. The trees. I don't even think this one is working. Hey, hey, hey! Uh uh. No, no. Oh my gosh. Okay. That green is pretty, but I think it's just gonna be a bit too, too much. What's this one like here? Okay. Um, hmm. What to do? What to do? I'm so sorry. <laughs> you guys had me like yelling. No, at the cats. Right, I'm going to use um, this is a big intensity fine, and um, this is a water based fine liner. So I'm just going to colour the leaves with this. And then maybe, maybe, maybe go in with either a darker, like, retractable gel pen. I think after. Um, but I chose this pale green, so I just thought it would look a bit more in keeping with the other colours that I've used on the page. <coughs> Bless you, Kirsty. Thing is, like, I I can be strict when I want to be, but I don't like it. You know, don't like shouting and telling off and stuff. I I I hate it. But you know, sometimes it just has to be done. But yeah, I I, I don't like it. Okay, so I'm just guessing at the shapes for these bits. Okay, so these are actually working really nice over the fixative. So I know that I can now work over it. Well, with pencils and fine liners anyway. So that's good, that makes me happy. I might just add a little tiny, tiny bit of blue shading, just sort of around the edges of some of the bits. We shall see. <laughs> Bless you, Kirsty. Yeah, I, I don't like it at all. And when I need to raise my voice, I can raise my voice, but it doesn't mean I like it. Or that I'm even any good at it. But, like I said, sometimes it just, it needs to be done. Yeah. But yeah, that was a Luna kicking off a minute ago. So, she's having a moment. Grumpy little mare. <laughs> I do honestly think though that we have to tell the cats off 
sometimes more than the kids and it's like really like you said sweetheart it is like having you know a group of like toddlers young as if you don't have enough going on it's like what are you playing at oh bless him char that is so adorable oh hey kitty so cute Yeah, that's it, Minnie. I do find, like, you know, sometimes, yes, we do have to raise our voices to the kids and, and shout at them and stuff. But that's sort of like, you know, when they've been told and told and told. And it's like, guys, you know, seriously, you need to stop. Um, I mean, not tonight. Tonight was the first night in, like, four nights. Caden hasn't lost something at bedtime. You know, because the last three days, he, oh my gosh, really hard work. Like, really hard work. But then I think, you know, a lot of it is, you know, not to make excuses, but a lot of it is lockdown as well, you know. They, they're frustrated. They miss their friends. And I get it. I do get it. I just don't think they need to, you know... behave a certain way just to like you know maybe get a point across or something okay so I'm just using an Arteza retractable gel pen now I'm going in on um, these bushes I'm just adding a little bit of deeper color just to these random leaves and then what I'm gonna do is go in Maybe not with this one, it might be a fine line because I think it would just be a bit more smoother across the page. Um, is just adding a few more shapes of leaves just to give it a little bit more interest and just draw the eye in a little bit more. And then you can see poo peeking out there. So lovely. They are Shelly, yeah, they are, sweetheart. Don't don't get me wrong, they are, and I I I I, I adore them, I do, but sometimes it's just a bit much, you know, and it's like, okay, that you know, really is enough now. Um, we took them out, um, what day was it? I don't, I can't remember now, but we took them out on a bike up to the local park, but it's not just like a play park. There's a play park there, but there's like lots of like, lots and lots of greenery and like pathways and trees and benches to sit. And there's like a little gazebo area, which is lovely. So there was people in the play park which wasn't allowed, it had signs up, but you know, they didn't want to listen to the rules and whatever, but it's, it's frustrating that some people don't listen, but what can you do? What can you do? Um, but yeah, they, they loved it and just getting out for some fresh air, I think it's done us all the world of good. But um trying to keep them safe at the same time so it's a it's a difficult you know oh bless you Kirsty. i i can only imagine how like difficult that must be sometimes i just Hats off to you, sweetheart. I I don't I I don't. I don't know if I could. I don't. Well, no. I I think I could handle it, but 
I can imagine, I can only, only imagine how difficult it must be sometimes, you know. Especially, you know, it's not their fault either, it's, it's just, unfortunately. With a light green fine liner, just some little shapes of leaves here, just in the bushes, just to add a little bit more interest, you know. You know, nothing, nothing fancy, just, you know, just little bits here and there. Okay. There we go. Wow. Three hours, 15 you guys must be fed up of me by now. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to add a little bit of blue sort of here. Just, I want to just, I feel like I need to add just a little, little bit. Um, I want that one and a touch of that one. Pencil sharp over there. Come on. Come on. Okay. Let's give this a try. <clears throat> oh, bless you, so I don't even. I have no idea what time it is. How bad is that? It is. Oh. Three minutes past ten. Wow, okay. I'm so sorry. I didn't realise this was going as long. Okay, so I just want to add like a little... Can you see? Can you guys see what I'm colouring at the minute? Because on my computer screen, I'm looking at it's buffering on the... Um, Fragile World page. I, I worry that when it's like the live streams go longer than I had anticipated, I worry that I'm kind of like outstaying my welcome and boring people. Um, yeah, this is a dark one. So with this, I say deeper colour, you can't really tell an awful lot of a difference. But I'm sort of going with a heavier pressure first and then lightening my pressure on the pencil to get like a gradient. This is how I do a lot of my like blending and shading and stuff, so it works for me. And I'm just going to run over with Hi Kelly, welcome. Oh, bless her. Are you um, having to homeschool at the moment, sweetie? And if so, how is how is she finding it? How is your daughter doing with the homeschooling and all that good stuff? You know, I can imagine there's, you know, many, many children and parents. It's just not easy, is it? You know, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm actually really enjoying it. As I mentioned earlier, I'm, I'm enjoying homeschooling. But, um, the, you know, there's no doubt that the the kids are a mess. Oh, they are missing their friends and teachers. Like, it, it's not the same seeing them on a computer screen, is it? Is what it is. Like, seeing them, see, seeing them in person. 
Oh, the page was slanted. Thank you, Kirsty. I just felt it needed just a little something just to emphasise the sky, if that makes sense. Just to, you know. Just put a tiny, tiny little bit here, just by this post. Not an awful lot, just a little bit. <coughs> Oh, bless her, Kelly. I hope that's working out all right for you both. Yeah, but it's, it's nice, isn't it, that she gets to see her teacher twice a week. Okay, just put a little bit around Winnie the Pooh. And I'm just going to come over here and put a bit. It just, like I said, it's just to sort of, I don't know, maybe just separate a bit more the, the oh my goodness, the, the bushes and the trees from the sky in the background. Just, I don't know, just because. <laughs> I think it'll look nice. I do think we'll get this page done tonight. Which will be lovely. I can cross this off my whip list, which is fab. Bless her, Kelly. Oh, bless you, Kirsty. Yeah, that must be, you know, it must be frustrating, sweetheart. I can, I can only imagine. So I'm just trying to soften up this blue a little bit. Come on, Link. Good boy. Come on. Okay. You jump back up on the chair next to me. <laughs> yeah, I. I don't know, you know, I think, when when is um, the government doing their next announcement, you know, about an update, does anyone know? I know they said that, um, you know, they're not going to be going back to the 22nd of February as anticipated, and I know that they have to give you, like, isn't it? like two weeks notice or something for like returning to school or when they plan to reopen the school is that right something like that i think if i remember rightly something along those lines um who knows i think at the minute i don't know about anyone else here but at the minute we're just taking it like day by day because that's just <sighs> you know i think that's all we can do um you know and we just try and keep as up to up to date with things as possible but i have fell a bit behind the last few days i've just like i said i've had so much going on this week um you know i spent tuesday all day in a and e and with me with my anxiety that was just that was like my worst nightmare being out of the house on my own in a place where it's 
busy, lots of people, lots of noise. Um, yeah, I didn't, uh, I didn't do too well. But I was, I was proud of myself for, for getting out of the house and getting the issue with my face and jaw looked at. Um, but then at one point I was stood over by the, um, like the automatic doors where you come in to the emergency department. I went and stood over there because I was so ready to just phone a taxi and say, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not staying here. Take me home. But. You know, Aaron messaged me and he gave me a good talking to and he just said, look, you know, if you come home, you're going to continue being in pain and we're not going to find out what is going on. You know, and you don't, you know, you don't want to spend another six weeks like that in pain. So I was like, no, you're right. I'm being silly. But, you know, I was just so upset by some of the things like one of them was like a, a young doctor, what she said. And then another was just these people sat behind me in the waiting room, making snide little comments. It just made me really uncomfortable. Um, so yeah. <laughs> oh, bless you, Kirsty. Hopefully you get some answers soon, sweetheart. It can be a long process, can't it? Yeah, we've been told ours won't go back until the 8th of March at the earliest. Um, so we'll see. We'll just, you know, see what the school and that says, I guess. I don't know. School, the government. You know, what we can do is just wait and see, you know. COVID sucks. Yeah, T just said COVID sucks. <laughs> it does. It does. Yeah, it was Nikki. Yeah, Tuesday. Still got bruises from it though. Where the vampires were taking blood. <laughs> I've got a little one here. I don't know if you can see. Quite faded. This one's a lot looking a lot better. Um, I don't think I have one up here on my arm. No, I'm all good. But yeah, this, this, oh my gosh, I hit the roof when the nurse tried there. So oh, thank you, honey. I'm just going to sit there for a bit. That's all right. Of course it is. Ow. Of course it is. It's lovely having you keep me company. Oh, bless him, Shelley. Yeah, it took, I feel bad because it took a lot just for me to, you know, go to the park with Aaron and the kids. But, oh, it was such a nice day. And, and even though my anxiety was through the roof and my heart was like, felt like it was going to jump out of my throat. Um, just seeing how happy the kids were, you know, that just, oh, that made it so worth it for me. Um... But yeah, Tuesday, meh. Tuesday sucked the big one. It was awful. It was really horrible. I had like a meltdown. The taxi pulled up outside. I just looked at Aaron and I broke down. And I started sobbing and I was like, help me, please help me. And he was like, oh, okay, I, I, I can't come with you, you know. I've got to stay with the kids and it can only be like one person and... You know, you'll do fine, you'll do great. I know you will just breathe. I just felt so silly, but that's just how it is, you know, how it is sometimes, and I, I don't like it. <clears throat> oh, I've Kirsty, I've been suffering from, yeah, I've been suffering from. Um, like pain in my right ear and then like sort of right in front of my ear and all down my jaw um, I've been struggling to open my mouth properly when um, 
like talking and eating and the pain has just been horrendous um i went to doctors in the beginning and i had an ear infection he gave me antibiotics for that but it didn't do anything for the pain like in my face and down my jaw and i left it for like a, a week after the antibiotics and i thought you know yeah it'll clear up i'll just you know keep on top of pain meds and it'll be fine well it wasn't it got worse i phoned well i filled in an e-consult form and then i had a telephone consultation the doctor sort of called me to get to a and e and time is of the essence um i will hold my hands up i did not go to a and e for two weeks it took me two weeks to build up to, to go and get checked out so that was my fault and I completely take responsibility um, but yeah I went A&E and um, it turns out that I have mastoiditis which is to do with um, like a it's kind of like a tube that comes off the middle ear and they think what's happened is that where I've had an ear infection, it's caused that tube to become inflamed and sore. There's no sign of any infection in my right ear. There's a tiny little bit of fluid left, but that's okay. That's not a concern. Um, but yeah, the, 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 they think the tube is like very sore and swollen, which is causing a lot of the pain. And I've also been diagnosed with trigeminal neuralgia. Um, and that's to do with like a nerve kind of to the jaw and stuff. So I've got exercises for that. Um, the maxillofacial department sent over um, some exercises. Um, and then I will have a follow up with ENT in a couple of weeks and if it's no better then I'll be referred to um oh you've got to go through the like an acute dental place and then they are the ones that have to refer you to the maxillofacial surgeons so yeah we'll, we'll see but I'm on some medication now and also um my blood tests threw up that I am anemic and have a severe iron deficiency so yeah all good fun but I will I will say that the first doctor I saw when I was um like sort of first checked into A&E and this was in like like triage and she was a young doctor now please don't think I'm tarnishing all doctors with the same brush I'm, I'm not I'm just saying my experience of this young doctor I told her what was going on and she went well I don't understand why your GP I, I know it's taken me two weeks to get here but he he said I had to come here and get checked out because I had already had the strongest antibiotics they could give me um they wanted me to get checked at A&E and she went well I don't understand why you're here I'll have to get someone else to come and have a look so that upset me because it made me feel like I was wasting their time so I was upset after coming out from seeing her so I pulled out my coloring book I took a million mermaids by Lulu Mayer with me because I thought it's a small book took that with my um little pencil case with my color soft pencils in it funnily enough we're talking about dara and color soft i took them because they're in a small case and i thought they're they're portable with this book well the people behind me were then making comments like oh my god she seriously sat there pulling out coloring and uh yeah it was a it was a couple and then there was a young girl sat um a few seats away from them and she chimed in and it was like, well, if she had kids, I can understand her having a colouring book, you know, it'd keep them occupied. But, you know, seriously, she's she's a grown woman and she sat there colouring. Oh, my God. You know, how childish, blah, 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 blah. Well, I sat there and I was, you know, I was crying. I had like tears streaming down my face. I went over to the door, was messaging like Tegan and Aaron. And that was when Aaron was like, it's, you know, come on, you need to get this checked. So yeah, it was quite a sucky, quite a sucky day, but it's it's done. It's done. I have you know, I have medicine now to try and help. We have a plan in place. So yeah, <laughs> sorry for the long explanation. 
so yeah it just it you know it's like geez kick someone while they're down you know it's crap but it's it's done now it's done and you know like Aaron said it, it needed to be sorted I'm getting this book. right I'm gonna pull out um a few greys let's see what I've got I think I want some warm grey I think they look quite nice let's do that <coughs> Yeah, sorry, I sort of went off on a tangent then, didn't I? Things going through, and so to sit there and do that, when that is like their coping mechanism, that just, yeah, that it really, really, really hurt to hear people say that. All right, love. Okay. I love you. Night night. night. Sweet dreams. Wow, I'm up later than everyone tonight. <laughs> this has got to be like one of the longest live streams I think I've ever done. Are you are you all okay for time? Because I, you know, I really don't want to outstay my welcome or bore anyone. I worry so much about it. So I'm just going in with some warm grey at the minute this path I do like the blue shading around here I think that looks really cute I did Nikki yeah I did that was when I moved um, after I'd seen the second doctor he was he was just fantastic and then he was the one I was seeing for like the rest of the day and he's the one who actually ended up coming and taking my blood because the nurses were just, yeah, no joy. So I did, yeah. But I pulled that one out and I was a bit more, like, relaxed. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Bless you, Zoe. <laughs> bless you oh thank you Kirsty. thank you so much my lovely oh bless you Shelley are you working in like a one colour dots book directions if that makes sense just to have a bit of interest oh, see the cats are more than capable of using their trays because I can hear one of them out there at the minute scraping the litter so it's like why why come in then and pee all over my stuff you know <sighs> little gits sometimes <laughs> Oh, bless you, Zoe. <laughs> yes, Kirsty, yes, we have. <laughs> I'm guessing you have too. What do you think? I'm actually, the first couple of episodes, I was just, I was really confused. But I'm, I'm so enjoying it at the minute. I really am, and Aaron's explained like a lot of like you know Avengers backstory and stuff. So yeah, <laughs> but it's I'm really really enjoying it. Never would have thought that would have been my sort of thing, but you know, since being with Aaron, there's lots of things I now watch that I normally wouldn't. But I love it. I love it. I love being introduced to new things. Oh, I'm tilting the book again. I'm so sorry. Yeah, like I said, I'm I'm really, really enjoying it. But that was like the Mandalorian as well. I didn't think that would be my thing, but oh my gosh. I can't, I just I'm like 
okay, when's the next season starting? <laughs> Bless you, Shelley. Is that a new book, the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory one? I haven't seen a one colour one of that. It sounds awesome. It sounds really cool. Love that film. Oh, thank you so much for joining, Minnie. It's been lovely seeing you, Han. Take care, sweetie. Lots of love. I know, Zoe, I can't wait. I cannot wait. Four at the minute. They're still in the prison. They haven't been in the prison long. So I'm I'm still yeah, I'm there at the minute. But oh, I can't wait. Daryl Dixon. Yum yum. <laughs> He's such an awesome character, isn't he? He's amazing. He's just lovely. <laughs> Just shade here. I'm really sorry, I keep moving this book around all over the place. Okay, and then I've got some going on here. This bit. And then here. some here but I'm just gonna sort of just do that with the pencil on the side this is um 70% warm grey in the prismas that I'm using at the moment if anyone is interested and then I'm gonna go thirty percent warm grey just use that to start Blending in that darker one. And I'm not going to be too fussy. I do, on this page, I do still like the white showing through. I think because it's very sketchy and soft lines. I really like just the, the soft look. I know I've gone in with some darker colours, but I think it just lifts the page a little bit more oh hi Gemma thank you for joining bless your heart thank you so much for supporting the channel oh bless you that's so kind of you thank you so much Gemma Hi, random stuff. Welcome. Hi, Shell. Welcome. Thank you for joining. Thank you. Oh, thank you so, so much. Oh. Bless your heart. Yeah, moved over the... Um, change the books, Shell. I was working in um, Fragile Wild, but I wanted to make sure that that page was completely dry before I decided to do anything else on it. So I pulled out this one. So this is a quite a, a, a whip. It's been a whip for quite a while, so I figured I'll pull this one out and try and get this done. Okay, and then I'm going to use, what's this one, 20% warm grey and just put a really light layer of that over the stonework and just try and use it to blend in some of those harsher lines a little bit. 
I'm using like a light to medium pressure at the moment. I'd probably say more of a more of a medium pressure, but not not overly, if that makes sense. Um let me zoom out a minute, Shell, and I'll show you, sweetheart. Okay, this is how far we got in Fragile Wild today. So I whoops. Oh, I just knocked in there. Okay. Um, so today I completed um, the pink flowers, these yellow lemon, um, the leaves, the stems. Um, I've got some little dew drops here, but that's like little details I'll put on at the end. And then I just want to add a little bit of shading on the background. So yeah, I'm really so proud of how this page is turning out. And I'm, I'm trying so hard. I haven't used pencils on this so far. So the shading that I add is going to be watercolour. <laughs> no pressure, no pressure. But I'm, yeah, I'm really loving it. I had to go in with quite a lot of white watercolour because I wanted these lilies to be white with just a tiny little hint of yellow. They ended up being all yellow. <laughs> so I've tried toning them down a little bit. But yeah, I like, I like the lemony colour. So I'm just going to go in a little bit and put a bit more of the yellow back in down on the bottom bits and then they're good but um i'm so so happy and i think this is one of the pr pages that i'm probably the most proud of that i think i've ever done so far so yeah <laughs> i'm really really happy and i don't i don't say that often at all so yeah really pleased with that one all right let me just zoom back in whoops oh my goodness okay Oh, bless you, Lisa. <laughs> bless you. I know, Zoe. I feel so blessed. I can't... Oh, don't, because I get emotional. You know what I'm like. I never, ever, ever expect anyone to make a donation to the channel or to send anything. But the fact that, you know, you guys do it it just means so much and i i appreciate mo it more than i can ever put into words and you know i say thank you and how grateful i am but it doesn't it doesn't seem enough you know i just want to give you all a great big hug if i could just reach through the screen and hug you all i would all right i'm just going in a little bit heavier now again this is just with the 20 percent um 20 percent warm gray i might even go in with a little bit of white just to just to highlight a few of these let me go in with a dark pencil a bit more just deepen some of the shadows Honestly, whoever's used the lit tray, oh, not that you guys want to know, but oh, not pleasant. It's out in the other room, like, well, yeah, I can smell it from here. sweetheart thank you so much for joining it's lovely to see you i'm sorry I, it took me a little while to look up then i didn't realize you were here oh shelly thank you i this is a thing i i don't feel like i do anything you know but when people say you know you you, you help me so much just having your channel on oh my gosh it just it melts my heart you know, because I'm, I'm helping people without even realising it. And that's just such a wonderful and special thing. You know, it's just, oh, it's just lovely. Okay, so I'm using quite a hard pressure now with this white. I just want to 
Yeah, I know I'm, I'm not bothered about the white spaces, but I just want to sort of get these colours kind of just blended a little bit better. So I'm just using the white to mush those colours together. Looking cute. Looking cute. Oh, me too, Shao. Me too. He's really adorable, isn't he? He's just, he's a classic. Who doesn't love Winnie the Pooh? <laughs> um, let me think. I think I'm just going to watercolour the rest, if I'm being honest. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. So let me put my pencils away quickly and then I'll pull back out the um, the watercolours okay oh. one of the zips come off of here there we go Cheapy set um, that I was using earlier. Has this brush got anything in it? Okay, no, that one hasn't. Let's try this one. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's go for this. Okay, I'm gonna have to mix it over here. Whoops. I need to clean this out. This can be another job while I'm sorting out all my books and stuff tomorrow, going through everything and checking the damage. <clears throat> oh, bless you, Kelly. Yeah, they're, they're fun to watch. I don't get to anywhere near enough is what I should. I really don't. And sometimes I'll be like watching, but like, I don't always let people know I'm there. I'll be like, well, not watching, listening. I'll have it on so I can kind of like grab a quick glance now and again. Let's make that a bit darker. There we go. I just want this to be like a, a wash. Very, very light wash of colour. Oops, probably too much, but that's okay. I just need to watch, I don't spill it on the book. So I'm going to just keep hold of the palette. Let's see. Um, yeah, that's quite dark, actually. Well, okay. Um, okay, I'm just going to have to try and be really light-handed with it. So I'm just going to give these a very light wash. I don't know how this is going to dry because it's got the pastel fixative on it so I'm hoping <laughs> it'll be okay but we're gonna find out now aren't we okay um it's soaking in quite quick but that's all right I'm just you know, it's, this isn't going to be flawless anyway because it's, you know, like concrete. I didn't think about the pastel fixative, if I'm being honest. Whoops. So I'm just kind of like, I don't know, it sounds awful, I'm just slapping it on. <laughs> I do want there to be a bit of texture on it. much pull some of that off yeah that's the same as me show yeah I do that 
I try and catch up with what I can, but sometimes it's like I have to admit defeat and be like, look, I, I, I just can't catch up. I can't do it. Um, and I'm finding that now, especially like with homeschooling at the moment. I don't know if anyone else is like that. It's just kind of, it's, it's hard to, to just catch up with stuff, you know? Because it's like I've got so much going on during the day and then come like after dinner time, I'm exhausted and I'm just like... I. What? I don't, don't even think I want to watch anything. I'm just so tired. And I know that sounds awful. I don't want. I don't want anyone to take offence. I just. I just can't physically. Do it, you know. But I catch up with what I can when I can, and that's you know, that's all I can do. Oh, show! I love them. I love them. They are such a huge help for my hands, which is just amazing. It really is. Um, yeah, I, I absolutely adore them. I used them for the main bit of background on here. And then I went in with um, some Prismacolor pencils just to add like this little bit of blue shading and stuff. So... Yeah, they're, um, do you know what? What's that got on it? What's, what on earth is that? Gold glitter. Hmm. Someone been using this as a makeup brush. I just want, like, a, a bit of texture to it. And that was soaked up all of that as well. There we go. And then there's a little bit of a darker colour here that I just want to dip into like a tiny, tiny little bit. I'm just going to put these shadows in. Yeah, it just, it goes that way sometimes, doesn't it, Kelly? Just, you know, just fall behind with stuff. But at the end of the day, you know, I, I say this to quite a few people, you know, in messages and stuff. Life comes fast. Life comes fast. And sometimes we just have to think, okay, well, I'll just, I'll just catch up on it later. You know, it's there for when I, you know, for when I'm ready or, or, or whatnot, you know? And that's just the how it is sometimes. Doesn't mean that we, you know, don't want to watch that person. It just means we just haven't got the time right now. You know? And that's okay. That's all right. Okay, I'm just, as you can see, I'm dabbing in a tiny little bit from that black. And just pulling it into this like watery mix just lifting it a little bit I'm just using it here as a shadow but that looks a bit harsh doesn't it let's try and just soften that a smidge okay not too bad let's do the same on this one Put a deeper shadow down here. So what is everyone working on at the minute? Are you colouring or diamond painting? What are you doing right now apart from watching or listening to me blabber on? <laughs> Yeah, that's it, show. That's it. Sometimes it's it's just a lot, isn't it? That's kind of why I've had to take a little bit of a step back from um oh my goodness, um Instagram and Facebook. Just, you know, with other stuff going on, you know, with life and homeschooling and stuff. It just things just get busy and it was it was I was finding it a little bit much 
um, like trying to keep up with everything and I would feel really guilty if I couldn't and I was beating myself up about it and I thought this, this it's just not it's not healthy to be sort of beating myself up about about you know not being able to kind of just not having the time to upload to to everywhere you know so I thought you know I'm just going to take a step back so now I just literally pop into Facebook to um, keep an eye on the Carla Morgana colouring group that I run and just sort of quickly admire people's pictures and that, that's it. I, I, I very rarely even leave a comment in any groups or anything at the minute. I just, like I said, it's nothing personal. I just need to sort of regroup. You know, I think, I think sometimes we just need that. And... and you know, before I would have been really upset and felt guilty, but it's like, I, I can't, I just need to do, just need to do what feels right for me at the moment, you know? <clears throat> so, it's just the way it goes sometimes. Okay, so I'm just putting a deeper shadow under here. Post box. Get off the excess. There, just feather that out a little bit. <coughs> Zoe, you are fishing on Animal Crossing. <laughs> I hope you're having fun. <laughs> Bless you. box just put a little bit really sorry about this slanted book at the moment Oh, is that the um the colouring heaven one, Kelly? Is that what you're working on, sweetie? That was like a, a collector's one, wasn't it? Collection or something? It's not in with the normal subscription. Is that the one I'm thinking of? Because I know I purchased the Hatsumiku one from Anthem from their website. I haven't coloured in it yet, but I have got it upstairs because I desperately want to work in it this month. Okay, I'm just deepening up this shadow a little bit more. And again, under the post box. <clears throat> okay. Okay, I like how that's turning out. It's cute. Um, okay, what to do about these? I, I'm so tempted to just colour them black, but then I think I might be taking away from the page if I do that. Oh, bless you, Zoe. Don't feel guilty. Nice, Kelly. Yeah, lovely. Oh, I'm so tempted to do these. Oh, my gosh. What to do? What to do? I think I am going to do that, you know, guys. Let me just put those away a sec. Yeah, I think I'm going to do those with the um, black jelly roll glaze. But they are upstairs. So I will finish this off camera this paper is so nice even the amount of water i've put on you can feel it here a little bit at the moment but that's still wet but honestly this is just i mean look it's can you see that it's barely even buckled so if anyone is interested in this book and you haven't got it it's the christopher robin disney christopher robin deluxe coloring book by centum 
this is the cover I do have a flip through of it on the channel if you're interested but yay we have a whip pretty much done so I am going to call it here because this has been a four hour live stream oh my gosh um so thank you all so much for joining with me and um yeah keeping me company for hours and hours you are a bunch of superstars um like i said thank you so 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 much um if anyone needs to get hold of me you can email me um dm me on instagram or message me on facebook wh whatever you need um or if you have any comments or queries obviously there's a comment section down below i will put in the description um if I can find the link for this book, I will put it in the description along with the link for Kirby's book as well. I'm not an Amazon affiliate, but I'm just going to put the links there to help you find the books if it's something you're interested in. Um, but yeah, any questions or queries, just, you know, feel free to get hold of me or let me know down in the comments. But again, a great, great big thank you so much. I love you all to pieces. You're just you're amazing and thank you for listening to me blab on and, and waffle on about anything and everything wish me luck for tomorrow cleaning the work area and seeing exactly where the cats have peed because i'm i'm not a happy bunny so <laughs> yeah let's uh see how that goes tomorrow i can see there being some more tears if i'm being honest but we'll see we'll see so thank you so much for joining i love you all so so much take care stay safe i'll see you again soon Mwah.